Okay, look at this. <laughs> yes. Last song and then we start. For the glory of Milfgaard. Now we are recording for the u boobs It's like playing chess. I'm known for playing a rep pound in, in classic. You gotta drink the bowl to become the bowl. The worst feeling in the world is whenever you're not invited to a party. So we're at least gonna try our best. We're gonna go get the battery. And we're gonna try and find a party that lets us stream. Very good. Very good. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We're gonna bounce off. Very good. Very good. Johnny spamming you boobs like a champ. Very good. Very good. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We're gonna bounce off. Let's go. so much i love being here i just love everything about this i just love everything about this very good very good bounce 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 we're gonna bounce off up hi gamers hello milf guardians one of the tea bags first of all of your names son of a bitch tits seriously sit it's you're in for safety. bullshit i'm in for safety i could shoo i can't even do the introductions on the street what is going on that's it i'm mad i'm disabling the kennel it's going away we're taking yay thank you spec Oh, wait, sorry. Thank you, Xavier. <laughs> let me say hi. Dude, let me say hi to everybody first before you start shoving me in the kennel. That's so mean. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Slim Ducky coming in hot. I think Slim. Oh, thank you for the head pats. Thank you so much, Johnny. Slimmy coming in. I think Slimmy was first today. I think Slim Ducky rolled into the stream and first today. We got Joker with feet. I'm sorry, Joker. Uh, seek seek the therapy for your feet addiction. Uh, Red Chaos, hello. Xavier, hello. Johnny coming in with the cute dinos. I fucking love it. Quiet Try, hello, hello. Metal, oh my god. Twitch app sucks donkey balls. Yes, it does suck donkey balls. Hopefully, eventually, maybe someday they'll pull their head out of their ass and make it better. Shoo! Hello, and then my baby sister comes in hot with a party of six. Thank you so much, Pixel, for raiding me. Hello, baby sister. Some Mike somewhere is here. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, let's see. T peeked in. Hello, my T, my lovely T. Oh, we got sandwich spam in the chat. Well done. Well done. We love sandwiches because sandwiches equal love. True Assassin. Hello, E ranks. Hi, Foxware Fox. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Hope you guys are having a good day. Spec coming in with some cute emotes. Hi, Spec. 
Oh my goodness. All of the things. You guys got, what is going on? I'm trying to read all of the notifications. Notifications. And censored with the resub tier one for eight months. Eight months of following our Lord and Savior, Brian. Our Lord... Our Lord and Savior Brian Censor says the only reason I'm fucking here is because of our Lord and Savior Brian. Is that true for everybody? Like I'm just I like let's 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 actually break this down. Are y'all just here for Brian? <laughs> you can be truthful with me. Oh my god, we've got watch streaks as well. Holy crap. Oh shit, it's the Minxy cat. Hello, Sakuna. Hello, Sakuna, for the first time. Chat, if you're not a follower, please wipe those pot wipe those toe beans at the door and smash that follow if you haven't already. Uh whatever the people say that I really suck at doing. But thank you so much for the first time, chat. I appreciate that. I truly do. For the glory of Milfgar. Oh my goodness. Okay. So who else? We've got a watch a battle's got a watch streak. Ten streams. I'm on a streak again. Now have some yams with liberty. Yes, we love we love we love stellar yams with our liberty. We do. Ruin Leon says, Minxie, say hi to me. Oh my gosh. Cope and sneed. Hi, Leon. I notice you. <laughs> a 20 watch streak. Let's fucking go. You guys are insane. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh-oh, here comes Blaster. Get ready, Brian. Greetings, fellow Helldivers. Greetings. Here's hoping the game isn't bugged later today from those sinister socialist automaton and their latest cyber attack ending our campaign for managed democracy as yes. we leave the surface. 100%. For Super Earth. And for our next shipment of, of liberty. Brian, why you gotta cut things off like that, Brian? Why you gotta... 18 watch streak. Okay, well, we're gonna take a few minutes. You know I like uh, chatting with you all a little bit before we get started. Um, elongated procrastination, winky face. So how are y'all doing today? What day is it? Fuck. Uh, oh yeah, it's Friday. It is Friday. It is the Friday of the, it's Friday. It is the fry of the days. Thank God it's Friday. Yes, it is Friday. It's the Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Shut up, Blaster. Don't you start singing that. Do not, Blaster, do not start having Brian sing out lyrics. I'm going to get in trouble. Holy shit, Leon, what the fuck? Leon! Dude. Leon, now you make me an asshole because I just, I lurk on your streams when I can. Now Leon's making me out to be the asshole. Leon! What the fuck, dude? 20? Holy shit! Oh my god, we reached the giveaway! We- we reached the chat! Holy shit! Leon just provided free games for everybody! Holy shit! Everybody, spam the fucking chat! Let's- let's party! I need a party song! Shit! Let's do a party song! Let's fucking go! Yes! We got another raffle, guys! Free shit! Let's go! Fuck yes! Thank you so much! Oh, Rudy got a teabag! We've been teabagged with love! Leon put his sweaty nuts everywhere! Let's go! Holy shit! Leon, you're losing your fucking mind! Dude, I gotta have Leon on stream. We can... Okay. Leon, we need to talk shit about Chris. Oh my god, what are you guys doing? Holy shit! Wow, guys! What is going on? What are we doing here? Oh, gee, with the 
first time chat. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys follow for the raffle. We're going to have a raffle for the, for the followers on, on the Twatch channel. Holy shit. Chat, I'm actually going to record my own hype song, so I need to do that. For the glory of Milfgar. Thank you so much for the follow, G. Yeah, we're going to, what I'm going to be doing, there is a super secret. So what's going on, guys, is there is a game that's, that's anticipated to come out on the 23rd of April. So now, now, I need to bring up the almighty calendar of, of Jesus, right? The almighty calendar. Let's look. So... If the game is going to be dropped on the 23rd, no, I'm not telling you the name of the game so you guys can spam it all in the chat. I want it to be a super secret surprise. It's going to be a super secret surprise. And it is a game that we are all going to be able to play together. So it is a community game. We are all going to get to play it together and I'm not going to release the name. Okay? Winky face. All right, so now I need to look at the almighty calendar. Right? Let's look at that. So if the game drops on the 23rd of April, I think what we'll do... Okay, I'm putting it on the calendar, guys. Our raffle for the free game, and I'm giving out five copies. Oh, no. Just sing the Heldovers theme, Lamau. Do your part. Be patriotic. I will. Okay, all right. Where's, where's Ducky? Okay, I'll play it. I'll play it. Now I gotta scroll. I need Ducky to trim it down for me so we can... Oh my god, Slim. We gotta trim it down. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. This is everybody freaking out over wah, Stellar wah, Yams wah, on, tw wah, on, on, tw on Twitter. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Let them roll. Let them... <laughs> I chat, that needs to be played every time someone has a meltdown over Eve from Stellar Yams. Just, we're going to play that on default. <laughs> Yes, the game is going to be... Okay, let me give you some details. The game will be on Steam. So you do need to have a Steam account. I will. Um, but if you don't have Steam and you want to gift the game to somebody else, you know, you can. Once I give you the code, you do what you want with said code. I just have to provide the code to you guys. But yes, it will be a game um, on... I'll have to check if there there's cross cross play cross compatibility right now that I I from my my knowledge it's only being released on Steam. So I'll look into that so I can give you guys some more information about it before the raffle, but I'm going to be gifting the 5 copies that I have on Steam. Raffle Twitch stream. Okay, raffle/giveaway. I cannot believe we did this today. What are you guys doing? This is amazing. Thank you so much Leon. Thank you censored. Thank you, anybody that's teabagging with love today. Holy crap. Okay, so what we're going to do is 23rd is the expected drop of the game. We're going to have the raffle on the 29th of April. So those of you that are watching me live, don't worry. I will, I'll remind you all. I'll post it before we're doing it. You do not need to stay the whole stream. All you need to do is show up, put exclamation point raffle in there i will make sure that i write down your names what i'm going to do is if you're here for the raffle i am going to private message you through twitch live give you the code and then you can confirm to me that you've received the code those of you that win that are actually watching live those of you that win that are not on the stream when i do the draw at the end of the stream i will get in contact with you uh through twitch and i will send you the code okay that sounds good. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And this is the best way to start out the stream. I love, I'm so excited to give you guys this game too. I really am. I'm like, I are excited. I really am. Such strong support. The hype train. Wait, we got a level six hype train? What? What? Really? Oh my god, my whole display is freaking the fuck out like it's having a goddamn seizure. That is amazing. 
You guys are fucking insane. Thank you so much. Jesus Christ. Hold on, I need a sip of tea. I need a sip of liberty. I'm, I'm freaking out right now. Aw, oh, the emotes are the little bees. Oh, what the fuck kind of Friday? I know, T. Free shit. Okay, so I'm going to throw that out there. Remember, the 29th of April, mark your calendars. Just got to show up on my Twatch stream to enter, and I'll be giving five copies of the game away. So we'll be doing five draws. It'll be really fucking fun. It'll be really fun. And don't worry, I'll make it a longer stream that day, so I'll give, you know, followers a chance to, like, really get in there and, you know, BS with me and stuff. You got chai tea? Fuck yes, you got chai tea. No, RK, I'm not gonna tell you the name of the game, because I want it to be a surprise for the raffle. Okay, now it's time for the salt and rage. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I want the game a 24-hour stream. What the fuck, true assassin? What the fuck, true assassin? No, I'm not going to do a 24 hours. No, we're not. Not. No, you guys aren't going to start spamming the chat with 24 hours dream again. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. That is not happening. Thank you so much to all of the teabaggers and the new follows and the first time chatters. This is probably the most insane stream start I've had in a hot minute. Okay, let's like do. Uh, I am so tired of streamers going what's on the docket. It makes me laugh every single fucking time. Like you're trying to act like you're having like an anchored show or some bullshit like that. Makes me giggle every time. Okay. So Blaster, I'm going to do this for you because Stellar Blade is bad on both sides. We've got Harmon. We're going to start off the stream with Harmon. We got some Asmin Chad. Uh, we've got some It's a Gundam. We all know that we like It's a Gundam. And Frit also came out with a new video on Stellar Blade because David Jaffe is doing Jaffe things again. And this is what Harmon and Jaffe are doing. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah. This, is, this is what Harmon wah, and Jaffe wah, wah, are wah. doing for Stellar Blade. Wah, 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 wah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucking ridiculous, Blaster. <laughs> I love how you, you what is the what's the best with this, Blaster, is that you laugh in the recording. Like, you couldn't even keep it up to finish it at the end, and you can hear your laugh in it. It's amazing. I love shit like that. Oh, David Jaffe is off his meds again. Oh, no. Shock and surprise. Exactly. Okay, let's get going. Chat, put a one in the chat. If uh, Thank you. Now I've got, I mean, I do kind of need Henry for Harmon. You're not wrong. Thank you so much. <laughs> put a one in the chat if you want to get this bitch started. Oh, Stellar Blade. Lady of the Yams, made by the Shift Up Corporation of Awesome, we salute you. We salute you. <laughs> Mr. Strokeface? <laughs> Did you call him Mr. Strokeface? Spec, do I need to pull you on this stream? Oh my god. Wait, what, what are you doing? Oh no, there's predictions. Shoo. Okay. How fast is Harmon going to catch his L? Below five minutes, above five minutes. No, the, okay, the video is only eight. Okay, that this is a very biased prediction, guys, because the video is eight minutes long. It's eight minutes. But, like, okay, you're going to give Harmon five, no. Okay, all right, we got the bets coming in. Get your, get your kitty treats in. We had some insane winners yesterday. Like we had like 32, like 30,000 kitty treats yesterday. Y'all betting crazy. Y'all betting crazy. It's amazing. Should have done the prediction in seconds. Exactly. Exactly. The two very salty losers. I also didn't know the video length. Do we want to redo it? Chad, do we want to redo the prediction? Shoo, ask me the video length next time. You can't? Nah? All right, let's see, let's see. We'll, we'll, Shoo, follow it up with another prediction. 
we'll we'll do we'll do a couple on this stream. If you end, it gives the points out. I know. I don't want to be that cheeky. People are gonna get mad at me. They're like, Minxie, what are you doing? All right, let's get started. All right, April Fools is over. Time to give my actual thoughts on Stellar Blade because oh, really? I actually do have conflicting opinions about it. Because on one hand, do you? You know, I want to side with the gamers, right? Do you? You know, really? I want to support a new IP. I want to support a new studio. I don't really dislike what I'm seeing from the game. It looks like a generic FromSlop clone, but whatever. I would. Oh my god, why? <sighs> Carmen, I know that Dark Souls, Elden Ring, I know those games bent you over and took you to town, right? Didn't even buy you dinner first. But this, this kind of hate for Souls games and Souls likes, I do not understand. I do not understand people that hate games for the sake of hating games. Can anybody explain this to me? Like, all right, the criticism with Redfall is valid. The criticism with Golem is valid. Like, if it's a bad game, it's legitimately a bad game. But the level of hate that is produced. From Slop? Seriously, bro? Yeah, new record. Hold me back? I know. I know. Hold on. We got to cash out already. He already, he, he fucked up. He fucked up right there. We, that is the fastest. That is the fastest prediction I think we've had. Okay. Choose outcome. We had less than five minutes. There we go. There we go. We we it it is what it is, right? He immediately opens the fucking, the, in instant L. Yes. 100%. Your congratulations, guys. You won. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, really appreciate something that does from slop, but better. Right? At the very least, it has a better looking lead. So, from that perspective, I do kind of want to, like support the game from that metric right we it hasn't come out yet we don't have any real idea of you know the quality of the game and i think the critics are going after it for the wrong reasons right like oh she's too attractive oh oh she's what hold on hold on uh, like some yeah uh, of you know the quality he's gonna have an eve body pillow 100 percent. okay does Harmon? Compare Stellar Yams to Zelda. Oh, that is a good one. Okay, mods that are doing... Shu, thank you for doing streamer work today. Like, I appreciate you. Shu's doing mods, mod things today. That's amazing. Y'all gonna earn a lot of kitty treats today to uh, allegedly harass me with. Quality of the game. And I think the critics are going after it for the wrong reasons, right? Like, oh, she's too attractive. Oh. Like, so many people have been, like, coming out trying to... Hold on, I gotta put the closed caption on. I can't understand Harmon half the time. Uh, d damage control, like, the game journalist backlash towards this. Like, they've, they've been bringing up uh. Baldur's Gate 3 and uh, Resident Evil 8. You know, bringing up Lady D. Like... <laughs> Lady D? Oh no, cheese! Ha 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 ha! Oh no, <laughs> Brian! Brian, do we need? I got a bonk, Brian. Brian just had a horny seizure. Yes, right there, officer, right there. That's the horny, right there. You go arrest that horny motherfucker, right there, Brian. Well, I'm gonna go arrest him right now. You need to calm your horny, Brian. Being all horny on main. Calm down, TTS. I'm going to tell Amy. I'm going to tell Amy. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, Colby says, hey, Minx, how often do you watch videos that the individual has an IQ less than their shoe size? Colby? Can we get gold stars in the chat for Colby? Uh, unfortunately, a lot. Unfortunately, a lot. Fanboys roast themselves, my guy. Unfortunately, a lot. All you have to do is be slightly funny, and they do it to their damn selves. Because they're ridiculous. The most ridiculous humans in gaming. 
Yeah, look at those sparkles. Make that, make the chat shine for Colby. That was amazing. I like to say room temperature. I, you know, their IQ is, is, is room temperature, but less than their shoe size. I love it. Very good. <laughs> like, uh, oh, we, we love those sexy female characters. You can't tell us that, like, uh, we hate all sexy female characters. Well, you do, though, because, like, Lady D is not attractive. You know, the women in Baldur's <gasps> Gate 3 are not. Oh, no. Don't tell Gara. Oh, no. Chad, don't summon. He did not just say the lady, lady D is not attractive. Oh, no. Chat, please don't. No, don't summon Gara. He's gonna lose his mind. No, don't summon the shh, 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 shh. Chat, chat, chat. No, you don't understand. No, don't release the Gara. You don't understand. The women in BG three aren't attractive. I know, but now I'm scared. The nurse is gonna come in swinging. Oh boy, what have we done? I'm gonna do it. You know how much. Gara is thirsty for Lady D. You guys know. <gasps> oh, motherfucker! Holy shit. Listen, if Harmon calls us porn addicts, wouldn't that apply to him as well? Exactly. Exactly. Well, he was simping for, uh, what, Princess Peach Showtime? I'm going to have that on stream as well. But arguably, Harmon did a bad. Harmon did a bad. And we're going to go over it. Not attractive, right? Those, that is the narrative, right? Huh? Is that you're trying to trick people into thinking unattractive females are actually super duper hot. So something like stuff. Oh, sweet baby kittens. What have I, what have I done on this Friday? You're saying that, that. Oh, the characters in BG3 are not attractive. Shit, don't this tell Pidgey either. This Nintendo Jabba Mother Eva didn't say that Lady D wasn't attractive. Exactly. This Nintendo Switch Long Guzzler wouldn't know attractive Dom Mommies if they bent him over and showed just how raw he's about to be. Oh my god, battle. This is why I need to have the little X's on my face. Can we get ghost kitties in the chat? I'm actually dead. I just died. My kitty soul left my body with that battle. Holy shit nuts. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Joker. Damn! You deserve all the kitty ghosts. <laughs> battle came out swigging. Battle came out swigging. Uh -oh. Hey, Gaa. Look what Harmon said about Mrs. Double D's. I'm honestly not surprised. Harmon takes me as the kind of guy who would be afraid of the big honky melons coming down and crushing his Nintendo airhead brain. I don't even know. Thank you, Grizz. Thank you so much for my little Viking hat. I appreciate you. Fuck this shit. Wait, super duper hot. Something like, what are you? Oh, no. Oh, shit. I've been diet has been lacking in Nintendo fanboy lately. Oh, God. Gara's here. Gara showed up. Here we go. Really? Gara's like, fuck this dude. I'm gonna provide cake to the chat. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Now I'm a fucking cake decoration again. Yeah. I, just, I, I wish you'd just let me be invisible, but oh no, I have to balance on the cheeks. It makes everybody happy in life. So let's do this. Every freaking stream. It's, it's turning into an every stream now. What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah. Gar is doing this shit to me on purpose. He's like, make you make yourself smile. Okay, okay. I think, I think I got. Let's move this up a little bit. I got, I got to make sure I'm doing the bouncy bounce on the cake, right? Okay. Are we good, chat? Are we, are we cake bouncing deck? Are, are we, we cake decoration bouncing approved? 
You tell me. <laughs> this is the hell of your own creation. Keep coping. Shut up, Shu. Bounce more? Uh, I could do that. This is me hopping almost, well, I'm a little short. I have toe beans and I can't jump from cheek to cheek. So I can only hop on one cheek. I mean, she's got some healthy cake there, Miss Felicia. We, we, got, we got some cake. I mean, hold on. Let's see. I don't think, no, yeah, I bounce when I talk. We're going to do, oh God, Chris Wolf's coming in. Hold on, hold on. I never, this is the thing, you guys, this stream, this, the streams of streams, the streams go into chaos. You just don't ever know what's going to happen with y'all. Okay, Chris Wolf, I got you. Hey, Harmon, sorry to hear you have such a fucking small dick that you couldn't even pleasure yourself with like Phil did. Oh Lady God. Dimitrescu is attractive and the fact you decided to say she is not attractive especially in front Gara is the most ballsy, the lack you have, move you ever done. Go back to your mold pit basement and fuck off. I'm dead. I need more ghost kitty. I I'm skipping the gold stars today, chat. Okay, who let Pidgey in all your houses? Pidgey, Pidgey was a carrion bird today and decided to put savage flakes all in your guys' houses. Holy shit. God damn. Y'all wrote, you guys woke up today and chose the way of the savage. <laughs> God damn. Stellar Blade, which like you know, you know, celebrates the uh, the fe the ideal female form, right? That is uh that is contrary to what the woke uh, are oh. trying to accomplish, which is why it's a major threat to them, right? It's why. The oh, the idea, the 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 ideal female form. So now we know we know that Harmon is definitely going to have an Eve body pillow, hundred uh, percent. There, there's been so much backlash to this, but like, hundred percent. Right is next to the game Peach. good though? You know, because like the demo is available, right? You can play it now. You can look at the gameplay. Which you and, haven't uh, played. You know, I've been seeing from a lot of streamers, you know, people like Max Dude, uh, who aren't like completely reliable sources of information by any means, but like they are being rather critical of the game, you know, calling it like a seven out of 10 kind of thing, right? And the immediate reaction from the community is kind of. You know what? Here's the thing. I do not think that people should be... Chat, tell me if I'm wrong. Y'all bully me on a good day. I don't think you should rate demos. I do not think that you can accurately rate... If you're going to do a rating system, and I'm doing quotations with my toe beans right now. If you're going to do a rating system, you cannot ad adequately rate any video game off of a demo that's you just can't hot take chat but i never thought peach was hot to me she looks like a cartoon blow-up doll oh my yeah, god Harmon, i said that you are beating your meat to a cartoon blow-up doll sorry not sorry go fuck yourself Harmon. oh my god snakey snake <laughs> Snakey Snake just came in and called Peach a fucking cartoon blow-up doll. <laughs> fucking hell. Okay. So that's what we're doing. The only thing that is 7 out of 10 is my urge to shove him in a locker. Oh my god, Gara, you're not wrong. Kind of you're dismissing not wrong. this as like, oh, they're just they're just in the pocket of game journals. But like, let's look at this objectively, really. Like is every single streamer like on board with the woke agenda right like huh? i don't necessarily think that's the case right like the thing is oh, i don't necessarily sake. think that stellar blade is going to be like a, a spectacular game in its own right right yeah you can like the game for what it is nobody's stopping you from doing that right but like huh people are like obsessively trying to uh paint this narrative that this is going to be a major major ps5 release when in reality i think uh 
this this entire ordeal is nothing more than like a marketing campaign, right? Huh? I think people are buying into uh, this narrative in order to get this game talked about, get as many people like playing this game as possible, to get as many pre-orders in there. That's every fucking exclusive. I'm so confused, chat. I have the scarlet rod of the brain. Every exclusive to any platform is going to go out of their way with marketing and try to hype that shit up as much as possible because it's an exclusive and they want it to sell on that platform. What are we doing here? It's literally marketing 101. Exactly. I mean, Eve's got her own fucking billboard. Let's fucking go. Bayonetta. Right? Harmon prefers his e-girls small and petite so he could have the bigger pants in the relationship. Oh my fucking god, you did not, Blaster. You did not. <laughs> we put gold stars in the chat? Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking A, dude. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Welcome back, Light Shadow. Oh, my lord. I know. That is a great roast. It's pretty fucking good. Like, I don't necessarily think this reaction is organic. Right. What? And I've been saying this like a couple of times, like when it comes to these kind of debates about What do you mean? It's a play it's a PlayStation 5 exclusive. PlayStation 5 needs some video games. Yes. The exclusive of Stellar Yams is getting hyped because they want it to sell on the PS5. And then eventually it's gonna come to PC, winky face. Right? So this is an authentic reaction about female characters because like huh? when i look back at like uh lady d right like oh no uh just stop oh god he's gonna go in on lady d again gara oh no oh oh no i oh please don't Harmon. please don't you don't know what you do please don't gara's gonna have another moment yep cassie Oh, Gara, excuse me, Cassie. Uh, Harmon's just shit talking Lady D. Hello, Cassie. Yeah. Oh, giggity, 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 goo. Hello, Colt Classic Cage, my Cassie. How you doing? <laughs> just as an example, like, I felt like that entire thing was, like, super forced, right? Like, oh, she's so sexy. Is she, though? Like, you know, <laughs> like she's like a vampire or some shit. You know, I am a, I'm a connoisseur of, of sexy female vampires, right? And I can tell you. The what? I'm a. He didn't. He did not. He did not. I'm, I, he did not just say he's a connoisseur of sexy female vamp. Okay, Twilight. I don't. Oh, he did not. No, no grown ass man just said that. No, no grown ass man. Just fucking. I. I <laughs> oh no! <sighs> she's not a vampire. I know she's not. Harmon, sparkling vampires don't count. Also, goddamn it, Minxie, you beat me to the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Win! Great minds think alike, Blaster. <laughs> Twilight doesn't fucking count, my guy. The Lady D does not do it. Fifty Shades of Grey, Grey, don't also- I bet he loves- shit, I bet he loves Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh no. I bet you- with, like, I really want the camera to pan in his, like, basement room, because I bet that all the Fifty Shades of Grey books are on a fucking shelf somewhere it for me like at all and i was like i was acknowledging that fact you know when it happened oh, i, I was love just kind rain. of like wait a minute i love chat we love I, lo I love i love blood rain i love okay you had to do it to me can we put some gold stars in the chat for blood rain 
mean, who wouldn't like a sexy redheaded vampire? I mean, let's let's be real here. Let's be real. Yeah, blood rain, hundred percent. Let's go. <laughs> is this actually real, or is this like a fake viral marketing campaign? No, it's by Capcom. what? And to this day, I'm not entirely sure. But but I do uh -huh. think the uh, Razor Fist brought up a really interesting point when it came to like the Hogwarts legacy debacle. Is that yeah. like a lot of marketing firms have become aware that the glory of anti woke has become a thing? All right, people are mighty. Thank you so much for the follow. We appreciate you. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you so are much. Supporting backlash, ba uh, supporting products based on like perceived notions of being anti woke. Right. So I think with like Stellar Blade, what they're trying to do is market the game as being anti woke for the glory because of it has huh? like a sexy female lead. It's not they're they're not marketing it as anti what a, oh my god, I can't. I think my organs are shutting down with this dumb shit. They're not marketing it as anti woke. I I don't I don't why? Why do they do this? Chat, can someone please fucking explain this to me? Why why do they do this? Why do fanboys do this? Why do extremists do this? Holy shit. Mighty, thank you so much for the slimes. That means that you you heart my baby sister and you and you like the pixel art, so I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Mighty. Holy shit. Spec coming in hot. All right, Spec. I'll have I'll have Brian. Let me grab that for Brian. Brian, please do Brian things. Thank you. Hey Harmon, your AI monstrosities you call characters you use to promote your books don't count either. Oh my now god. Now go put the body pillow down and get back to the treadmill so that you can fix that big pile of blubber you call a body. <sighs> Spec, how are you gonna call me out like that? Chad, how's Spec gonna call me out like that? Now I need to get on a treadmill. Because no one wants to be Harmon in life. BTW, does Minxy know that all of the Blood Rain games are on Steam? Also want to bet Harmon has never played Blood Rain. I did not know that all of Blood Rain was on Steam. That's really fucking sweet. I actually had the copies. I did. That is really cool. Thank you, Sensor. I'll have to look that up on Steam. 100%. Uh, Harmon's never... No, he's never played Blood Rain. Love watching Pixel Stream, and she made some for... You made She made some art for your husband and a friend of mine. That is amazing. Oh, Mighty, I think she was telling me about you. Yeah, with the commissions. Well, welcome. My my streams are a lot more chaotic than my baby sister's. Hers are tame what? compared to mine. Wait, oh my fucking god, Minxy, it happened. Harmon is turning woke after the news about Nintendo. Is he? Oh, no. Well, we're going to have to watch that. We're going to have to watch. Maybe, I, well, not today because we're doing stellar yams, but I'm going to have to have. <laughs> well, if, if he's losing his shit over a Nintendo winky face, that's going to be fun. Right, like I think that's what we're seeing here, and I do think it's very possible, considering this is coming from South Korea, that the game uh -huh. is actually unbelievably paused. Right, like I think people are going to be very what? surprised when they actually get their hands on the game, like the full release, and realize just how woke it is. Right, you know, kind of like Near Automata. Right, uh -huh. like Near Automata is super, super woke. Right, but people really what? tried to like push this idea that it was like some like based Japanese like. Does he even know? Oh my god, does he even know what woke is? What? I. You do. I'm so confused. How is near woke? I don't even know what he's talking about, Grizz. He honestly doesn't even know what it means. No, he doesn't he doesn't know that it's what it actually means. He is such a fucking idiot. Oh my god. He actually lives under a rock. Yes, yes. Like triple A property and like with a sexy female lead. In reality, like no, it was unbelievably degenerate. And it's uh -huh. it's uh, honestly kind of shocking that more people don't don't really talk about. Oh, he's he's talking about. The, wait, wait. 
Uh, dude, trying to keep up with you is the wordest yeah, of the like, word salad. Still, it's up with a sexy female lead. In reality, like, no, it was unbelievably degenerate. Okay, so now he's saying Nier is unbelievably degenerate. Do we agree with that take, chat? And it's it's uh, honestly kind of shocking huh? that more people don't don't really talk about that. Like, people still have delu um, delusions that that game was, like, Delulus. something spectacular. They have delusions that that game was spectacular? I, I get whiplash with Harmon. Like, do you like Asian girls or do you not like Asian girls? Do you like sexy female characters? Do you not like sexy female characters? Like, where are we at with this chat? Can someone give me a fucking roadmap? Because mom is a lot. I'm lost. I'm lost in the sauce. What? What stupid shit is he actually rambling around in this video? Because it makes absolutely no fucking sense. It no is sense. like, it's disgusting to see these kind of like mid products just huh? pushed this way. Like when you compare this to like um, Princess Peach Showtime, right? You know where? Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's comparing this to Princess Peach Showtime. He hasn't, chat, did I miss it? Did he compare it to Zelda yet? I was having too much fun with y'all because we got a prediction, right? He has not compared Stellar Yams to Zelda yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay, never mind. I thought he was going woke because he said people are excited for Stellar Blade because it is anti-woke, but no, he just fucking retarded. Yeah, he snakey snake, that's really what it is. So it's bad for us to enjoy Lady D and Eve, but it's not bad for you fantasize over a 17-year-old video game character. Miss me with Pillsbury Dill Boy. Gara, well, you have to understand that Mario and the entire cast of Mario is their their children's games. I mean, <laughs> Mario's for kids. We just enjoy it as adults. I come in and you say Asian girls. And there is a chonky cat bouncing on a bootay. This is a fun start. Well, you know what, Knox? I love me some Asian buns. Yeah. The it's on the the punk. Do you like e-girls? Yeah, we like e-girls. Do you like j-girls? Yeah, we like j-girls. Do you like Ninten girls? Oh my god. Yeah, we like Ninten girls. Do 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 do. Can wait to get a waifu. <laughs> now we are. Uh, Harmon is doing so much dumb shit in this video. We got Blaster singing. Holy shit. Listen, the only reason that Bayonetta series is still alive is because Nintendo were generous enough to fund Bayonetta 2 and 3, but also because Sega didn't want it to fund it the series as it was not their main priority IP. So for Harmon Smith to attack Stella Yams because it is not on his precious Nintendo Switch is a total bitch and has a little dick syndrome. Thank you so much, Red. Holy shit. Gold stars, please, and thank you. Red. They got a lot to say about Bayonetta right now. It's really funny to see the flip, like, history rewrite itself, chat, and the script is being flipped so hard. All of the ones that were so mad about Bayonetta are like, oh, Bayonetta is totally wholesome, but Eve is a hoe. Like, what are we doing here? No. Just pick a lane. When you have a funny to post but but it doesn't want to go through. Oh no, true. Highlight it. Highlight it, true. You you have provided it. You have provided the cake for the chat. Just highlight it and I'll I'll <laughs> Eve is a hoe. She's wearing an advanced battle suit. She is. It is an advanced battle suit. You know, chat, let's be real. You know that those iron bikinis are the most protection in a Vigi game. We know it. You know it. Harmon doesn't know it. But, you know, those iron bikinis, they deflect all the arrows. 100%. Oh my god, you guys are going Harmon ham. has no good taste in video games or women. No, he doesn't, Xavier. Thank you so much. <laughs> Everybody, like, wrote off this, like... Oh my god. 
It is so cool not having a stream also, delay. Also, the only woman Harmon can get is one he has to pay for their time on Chatterbait. So if he is talking about women, he should shut up and go back to paying money for private sessions with Svetlana. I need a minute. Chat, we need to have a quick intervention. Y'all you you are fucking me up today. Y'all are fucking me up today. I'm sitting here smiling in my heart of little nerdy hearts because Chad is fucking me up today. What, what happened this morning before I went live? <laughs> Holy shit. Y'all are going so hard. It is amazing. God damn. I'm just sitting here on perpetual blue screen. I've just crashed. Oh my god. All right, true. I was gonna say, no harm and Princess Peach and Eve won't have a three someone with you. Emotional damage. You just wrecked his heart of hearts, true assassin. No. Eve and, and, and Princess Peach will, will not give, uh, not have a threesome with Harmon. God damn it. Like, far superior product. It's, it's just like, why is Stellar Blade getting more shit? But Princess Peach, like, getting, getting disrespected by everyone. Huh? Right? Uh, it, it really is just a matter of... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Stop me, chat. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna derail the I'm not gonna derail the stream. I'm not gonna derail the stream. I'm gonna finish the Stellar EM stream. Then on another stream, we will roast Harmon and Arlo and the whole Princess Peach Showtime fiasco. We will we will do that on a step. Do not derail your own stream. Stop yourself. Self control. We got this. All right. I had to do my do a, I had to do a little pep talk because it's really fucking bad. Okay. We will have it on the next stream. Jesus. Okay, basement dweller Nintendo hut. It's clear that you got too close to your precious whittle switch and the processing power has deemed your intelligence to be okay par with dial up of dial up. Now let me enjoy my yams and cake and enjoy a stellar looking game. Thith with no thaguth look thumbath harmon. I'm... I'm... Okay. What do I do? How do I recover from this? Chat? <laughs> I don't... You just broke me. I have no commentary for this. Well done, battle. I just... You just... I give up! I give up! Gold stars for battle. Chat wins. The MILF Guardians win today. God damn. We haven't even gotten to the memes yet. <laughs> we're, no, we're just over an hour in. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> God damn. Uh, Nintendo exclusivity, right? You know, people are always... Sissy, hi, I come bearing gifts in your DMs. Oh, what the fuck did you do now? <gasps> you didn't. Learn from the best community. I didn't know I had it in me. Now on to more yams. Chat, Pixel has a Pixel has a gift for you all. This is why they love you more than me. I'm getting mad. Strike my last comments. He couldn't get a woman to even look his way, even if he has a one hundred dollar bill stuck in his zipper. That is true. Grizz, it must be a sad life to be a Nintendo. Owner. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna show. Chat. We have a Brian emote. Would you like to see the Brian emote? I'm gonna have to upload it to Twitch. I don't have any space yet. I'm not gonna be able to get any more custom emotes for a hot minute. We have a Brian emote, chat. Would you like to see it? Pixel is giving giving this to, you, to the tea bags. We have a Brian emote that you will be able to spam now in the chat. This is so fucking cute. 
Yeah, he's got his little monocle. I love it. He's got the moustache. He's got the little hat. What do y'all think? Oh my god. An emote for our lord and savior. Yes. It's so- I know, he's so dapper. You know how Brian rolls. Thank you so much, baby sister. That is exciting. I will get that uploaded on the channel. We will have that on the next stream. We will have that on the next stream. We will have that here on Twilight. I don't have any space on you boobs, guys. I'm sorry. Um, okay, here, here's, here's the thing with you boobs. I'm gonna be really fucking honest with you all. I am not willing to pull a fill on YouTube to unlock more emote slots because the emote slots are gate kept. And I think I've talked about this before, but people didn't seem to understand how gate kept they are, and I'm not willing to do that. So if I if I earn it naturally, cool beans, but we're kind of stuck with the slots that we have right now on YouTube, uh, because I'm not willing to do all of the gross like e-begging shit to to unlock all of the slots. Like you were talking like hundreds of memberships to unlock one slot. It it's ridiculous. It's gross. I'm not I'm not having it. So I won't be able to upload anything new uh, on YouTube anytime soon, probably. We'll see what happens on YouTube. But we can definitely have Brian here on on Twitch. Yeah, I have I have extra slots. So I'm excited. I'm really fucking excited for that. Thank you. Yeah, like I think once you start getting into yeah, over yeah, it's a hundred memberships. To jump just to jump from five hundred to six hundred to unlock one emote slot, it's a hundred. Yeah. It it gets really fucking spicy. And I don't like the way honestly, I do not like the way that YouTube does the emotes at all. I I fundament I disagree with it. I should be able to give you guys what I want to give you, basically. And it's just all a cash grab. Always looking forward uh looking for reasons to hate on Nintendo right but praise sony right and uh th that's kind of that's what we saw with uh princess peak showtime right like everybody tried to say that like ooh, like uh stellar blade is gonna be so much better but is it though like i don't think i i really do think at this stage huh? uh looking at you're not like, gonna the, play it uh the discourse like i do think this is gonna be one of those games that comes out and is like immediately forgotten Right, it's gonna be huh? this year's like Life of P or like a uh, Power World or like oh, Power World came out. I'm sorry, you have nightmares about Power World. Guess what? We got a new pad. We got a new update. We got raid bosses, and we're getting a whole new island this summer. I'm sorry, Harmon. The Pocket Pair is actually doing good things in the gaming space and giving the content to the gamers because they are going to want to get this game out of early release early access, excuse me, as fast as possible because of what happened with Craftopia. Yes. They're they're doing their due diligence for Pal World. Sorry that upsets you so much. I wish I wish Game Freak would do that. Out in January. I forgot. Uh it's gonna be like it's gonna be like that. Or it's gonna be a flash in the pan thing that comes out. People are on board with it for only one reason, and then it's gone again, right? Huh? Like, look at what happened to Final Fantasy VII R, right? Uh, Reaper, right? You know, you had Tifa and Eris, who, are all, who both Thank look you. way I needed better that, than, like, Eve, by the way. I think that's, uh... Huh? Huh? What? Now, now, now we're comparing Aerith, Tifa, and Eve? Dude, they're all hot as balls. What are you talking about? What are we doing? They're all beautifully designed characters. What? Laura Croft is amazing. What? Well, you would, Spec. You would. She's a fighter. You would. Dude, they're hot. As, they're hot. Dude, they are hot as balls. Like toasty, droopy balls. Yes, they're hot. He can't appreciate good female figures? No. No, he can't. Why would you even... Why would you compare? And there be actually similar, similar body types. That's... That's hilarious to me. 
why are you comparing Eve to Tifa and and Aerith when they all have similar they they actually have similar body types? Are you <laughs> Hi Alkin, how you doing? If you don't think that you are a homosexual, right? You know, you have Tifa If you don't think that Tifa and Aerith are hotter than Eve, you're a homosexual? What? Pal World and Souls Games live in head BTW whatever happened to Princess Peach Showtime just saying. I need a minute to process that chat. So, we're all homosexuals if we don't think that Tifa and Aerith are hotter than Eve. How about they're just all hot? Can I have that opinion? They're all just beautifully crafted, well-drawn, animated characters. Like, can I just, can I have that opinion, chat? Does, does that make me a homosexual? I'm so confused. What are we doing? <laughs> Fucking A, Harmon. What? an heiress you know being like extremely fan servicey throughout the entire it's not heiress it's Aerith. oh here we go it's like Di it's like diablo but he fucks up diablo it's not heiress it's Aerith. oh my god with an i-t-h thing and like did that sell more copies no right like that's that's kind of my my thing at this point is that like <sighs> Like, I don't think there's anything that huh? PlayStation can do to, like, bring people back at this point, right? This is, like, a last-ditch effort from them to try to get the fanboys back on board. <laughs> Baby sister, I have not told you enough lately. Like, we're going to do this. How much we lo I love you. You know what? I like some fan service in my life. You homo. That's exactly what... Since I never really pay attention to how hot characters are in video games, I don't except either. when MJ from Spider-Man 2 happened, I guess that makes me very gay. Who knew? I am going to have to divorce my wife and find myself a bear. Oh my god, Knox. Oh my god, Knox. <laughs> I don't either. I just make jokes. Right, chat? And honestly, Eve, it makes me giggle. So I put, I put fucking, I put pictures of Aerith and Tifa. I put pictures of Eve. I put pictures of Black Cat and Catwoman. I put even the good pictures, you know, the really nice fan art of Mary Jane. I will drop those pictures on my, my Twitter account because I know that somewhere someone is super fucking mad that they even saw it in the first place. So, yeah, that's my level of trolling. I post, I post the curves to piss off Twitter. That's really all I, <laughs> I, I... I will admit to it. I will admit to it, yes. And I have been doing it more and more lately, and I shall continue to. Right. You know, it's like with Final Fantasy X-2 all over again. We're all like, uh, we're going to make a sequel that nobody asked for. Okay, so let's just have Yuna in, like, these really tight booty shorts right on the front cover. Right, you know that'll sell the copies, and huh? of course, like, dude, or some of the but uh, like, was you know, awesome, the game is hated by everyone, and for good reason. But like, you don't I even think, know what was wrong with it. What, I think you, more people huh? need to like um, understand that this kind of pandering and marketing tactics is really cheap, right? Like, it doesn't represent like an actual high quality product at all. The fact that like all anybody seems to care about are like cheeks says a lot about the quality um i care about the gameplay Harmon should really get his basement tested for black mold he should i am pretty sure between his twitter rants and his video rants there is something down there that is making him act like this do you think it's like something out of the last of us do you think it's the cordyceps or whatever i think he might be infected we might he might need to get tested of the actual product someone like princess peach has a lot more class okay he did not compare he holy shit chat he didn't talk about zelda at all he he went the full princess peach route bitch didn't talk about zelda at all 
You didn't even use Zelda as a comparison in your rant about hot girls. You strictly kept it to Peach. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry. I I don't y'all y'all lost some y'all lost some sandwiches. I cannot believe. <gasps> Wait, T. T, you won again? No way. T and Xavier just absolutely wrecked the chat. T and Xavier just got 16.9k sandwiches. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. Oh, come on. I know. I think that that is the... Arguably, guys, y'all got trolled with that one because I think this is the first video I've heard in a long time that Harmon hasn't talked about Zelda. I lost 5k? No! <laughs> All right, we got Asmin Chad. All right, we're going to go more into the Stellar Blade dramas. I'm going to play the As. I'm going to go get some more liquids. I'm going to go on Hydrate really quickly, so I'm going to play the Asmin Chad song. I will be right back, and then we'll, go, we'll get on with more yam talk. It'll be fantastic. It's a fantastic Friday. We are celebrating the yams. What's up, y'all? It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold. It's your boy, Asmongold. What's up, y'all? It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold. Asmongold. You can do the work, and then you can get the money for the work, and then get the money to me. Thank you, thank you. What is this dude? Do I want this money? Do I want this money? I don't know. I have 1,283 days slash play. I never give up. What the? Sorry, I prefer come. Ah! Fuck this dude. I play all day, play every day. I have no regrets. I love this game. I play all day, play every day. I have no regrets. I love this game. I don't feel bad about it at all. What was I gonna do? Imagine what I would be like without WoW. What's up, y'all? It's me. to the side what the fuck yes Xavier you won and then proceeded to shove my chonky fluffy ass in the cat thank you I appreciate you in all things super fucking amused right now <laughs> okay I don't know we should we do a prediction for this one too I think we should give everybody a chance to get some sandwiches back that, man, that was rough. That was rough. Harmon got y'all. I can't believe he didn't bring Zelda into the mix. I'm actually shocked. 
All right, let's get on with the Stellar Yams dramas. A few days ago, the Stellar Blade <laughs> demo dropped on the PlayStation Network, and yes, it did. I played People it. were actually able <laughs> to experience the game and could get an idea. Whoa! Silent says currently on a five stream streak. Thank you so much, Silent Knight, and thank you very much, Light Shadow, for the chunky head pads. I like the head pads. Of what the game actually would have. Imagine in having it. a demo. Besides uh, nice yeah. things to look at. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it still needs to be a good game. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Like, it's well, always good to see characters. But, like, listen, how many people have seen porn of Overwatch? Guys, just just be honest. Me, everybody, right? Everybody. Rule, how many of y'all idiots actually play the game? Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That, that argument is irrelevant. And I don't play Overwatch. <laughs> No, nobody does, right? And so I don't need to play a game in order to, ex to in order to appreciate its graphics. No, it turns you don't. Out the game so far, from what I've seen from people that are pretty big into gaming, like Mark the Cyborg, the game is actually. See, here's the thing: I don't need to play a game to appreciate an art style. That's that's exactly where I'm at. Like I love low poly, so any game that's in low poly. I genuinely lo love the art style. So anybody that's like, ooh, the graphics look fucking sick, anybody can have that opinion. It's all about the gameplay, though, really. And, and honestly, when it comes to Stellar Yams, I'm pretty impressed so far with what I've seen gameplay-wise. So I do hope that it continues that path throughout the actual game and does really well because it looks, it looks fun. It looks very fun. You sent me a DM? Why'd you send me a DM? Oh, no. Now I'm getting DMs. What do you mean you sent me a DM? No, you didn't. You sent me a DM forever ago. <laughs> I would probably not play Stellar Yams because I'm not good at that kind of game, but I love the art. You know what, Pixel? I think that you would enjoy getting your ass kicked just for getting the sake, the sake of getting uh, your ass, ass kicked. Pretty good. It's pretty good. I would agree. I'd say the game, I'd say the uh, the demo, like the Final Fantasy 16 demo was a 10. I would say this demo was an 8, maybe a 7.5, but yeah, it's I like a 7 to an 8. I would say somewhere around there. I don't I don't agree with rating demos in my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I you actually have to like go in because we know that you got limited shit when it comes to demos. Yeah, you can either not like the demo and, or enjoy the demo, but I'm I don't go about rating demos. It wasn't crazy, but it was good. So I'm looking forward to playing this game. It'll be funny to see how the media reacts to it when it actually drops and if they're honest about it. Some people aren't being very honest. I just wonder, like, what's wrong with you if you can't be honest about how well a video game sells? Like, exactly. if you, Why you gotta need lie? to flip the script and put a yep. spin on the way a video game sells, you need to get medicated immediately i agree with that you do need to get medicated immediately you need some serious help if you have to lie about video games if you have to lie about stats if you have to lie about numbers if you just try you do you have to try to manipulate any narrative there's something actually wrong with you really wrong with you and and you need some help because it's just a video game immediately you need to make sure that you speak with your doctor or therapist as soon as possible. Like, imagine that, like, this is a world that we live in where people need to put a spin on the way that a video game sells. Imagine, like, the yep. level, like, imagine going to one of the villages that Mr. Beast made a well for and then explaining your problems to the people that live in that village. Oh my it's God. just, it's incredible. True. Like IG. It's insane. Could you imagine doing something like that? Power Boss, I is here. Welcome, Power Boss. Welcome to the stream. It's good to see you, my guy. Again, who had to change their articles up and play victim because their take oh, was so Oh, French bad IGN. So fucking everybody bad. Everybody on the internet laughed at it. So bad. So, to be clear, this is IGN France. So it's still IGN, but it's yeah. an IGN that yeah. caters to France only probably will be shut down within the year because IGN, <laughs> I suspect, must be losing money because they be. have positioned themselves over the past so couple stupid. of months to become the next Kotaku. 
They really have. I don't really think so. Personally, I think IGN is probably one of the better actors. Like, do they do okay. they allow people to write articles? I agree with that to a point. Like, they make some decent videos sometimes, but we're talking about IGN France here. That That's what we're talking about. That I disagree with. Yes. And there are a lot of articles that they write that I disagree with. But there are also a lot of videos that they do that I think are good. So, like, what the fuck, right? Are they not, are, are the, the writers there not allowed to have opinions that I disagree with? Like, what's this? Of course they are. Of course they are. And we're allowed Absolutely. to make fun of them. Tension. Or not agree with them. Or, probably noticed that as well. Hey, uh, especially when it comes to IGN France and this terrible fucking art, it was really bad. Like, I didn't even want to have it on stream. It was so bad. It was ridiculous. Talking shit about the CEO. The CEO is married, has a beautiful wife of Shift Up. Oh my god. It was it was an absolute disaster of a fucking article. And any gaming journal should be fucking embarrassed as shit that they even wrote it in the first place. Click baiting happens, but like this is the thing, right? Is like people say that I'm farming hate sometimes, never I give my opinion on things. But I'm not farming. In my own mind, I'm keeping it real. But publicly, people think that I'm farming hate. Because everybody hates what I'm saying. Yes, that's actually true. That it doesn't necessarily mean I think I'm wrong. But it's there. So I people are going to have like this different polygon. opinions on that. Now you DM'd me. Are you trying to show? Really? Chat, do you want to see some eye candy? Shoes sending me the eye candy, since we're talking about Stellar Yams today. I am looking at a Stellar Blade demo of the outfits. Would we let, I think, I think we need to do it. Of course Battle is going to say do it. Of course. All right, let's bring this up really quickly. I mean, hi. Let's. Let's do this. I love the well, I'm biased. I love me some glasses. I, I wear glasses. All right, we got I, this is the infamous green, shiny green with the tie. Skin outfit demonetized probably. I don't care. I'll put it on YouTube and not monetize it. I don't care. I'm tired of fighting with the monetization on YouTube anyway. <laughs> I'll give it all away for free. I don't care. Ooh, I really like this one. Oh, I love this one. Look at the belt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. You're speaking, you're speaking my language. I got to look at this one again. We're going to zoom in. Look at the belt. Yeah, I, this one's fucking fire. This is amazing. The glowy shoes, the belt, the little accents. Love it. Oh, that's cute. You got the high heels. You got some skinny jeans. You got a cute little uh, jacket there. I like that. That's kind of badass. <laughs> Silent Night's like, I want that one. Oh, here we go. Demonetized. We got the booty suit. 20 stream watch streak, Power Boss. Thank you so much. Tomboys are gay. Lamau got them. Yeah. I like this one. Look at this. This is amazing. Oh, I love slow jumps. Give it to me. I love slow jumps when they're done well. Let's fucking go. Oh, I like it. Thank you for the derail shoe. We appreciate you 07s in the chat for a shoe. We got to see the shiny outfits in the demo. Nice. Noise. Thanks. Every week. Uh, but they came out and said that 
Uh, this game was designed by people that have never seen women. Yeah. And I always find so this to be kind of so a fucking stupid, stupid take because it is. this is the model the game is based on being motion captured here. Uh, it is very yep. much based on real women. <laughs> Which Well, this I, is the same kind of girl that if uh, the kind of girls that say something like this, if they saw her, they would be like, well, where's her organs? Yep. Because Sa you yep. have to have a stomach that's the same size. As yep. That's those toxic bitches. They're like, she's too skinny. Oh, man. Women are terrible. Women, you think, okay, here, let, let's be real. People think men are bad. Women are, are, are terrible. Legitimately terrible to other women. They really are. The women are so fucking toxic. It's bad. As a yoga ball, in order to fit... Uh, all of your organs inside of it. Yeah, it's just jealousy. We all know that. It's jealousy and hate. It's I love beyond that they did me. This. this was the studio's response to the me. people bitching and crying about, oh, she don't look like a real Whenever woman. they say organs, what they mean is an actual organ, like a piano. Mm -hmm. So if you can't fit an organ inside of your body, you've got a problem. <laughs> no, only in sales thinks that's what women look like. So they literally only posted this video you can't like fit a piano in your belly you can't fit a piano you ain't a real <laughs> woman shutting people down because yes there are women uh pc focus banned from twitter now were they are they did they get banned again power boss I mean, oh shit. i'm not surprised uh, they also said that she's uh uh, uh the stereotypical asian doll oh, or God. something which i guess huh? is a stereotype yeah that you, but here's the real thing that's funny. They cry about Stellar Blade. What? While selling these. You telling me this shit what? is three hundred dollars? What? I'm telling you something, man. Who the fuck spends three hundred dollars on this? Is a I like, don't. I, I would huh? spend three hundred dollars to not have this in my house. I'm gonna be. I real. actually agree with like, that. I think this shit is like, uh, bro. So many of like my friends have this shit and i walk in their room and i'm like damn there it is what are you doing oh my god why do you have that you know what i have instead i got one of these this is a um as the girls got plushies in a of, little uh, night one news of the room Knights templar crusaders uh from the crusades back in the day and you can see the He's the got work a little here, knife. right here, and he's got a flag. Yeah, three hundred dollars for that, know, Xavier. Saving them for the crusade. Yeah, exactly. You can see this. Like this, this is the kind of stuff I have. It's nice. Oh, and it? then you got the little, got the bunny plushie, the little chuck. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, yeah! We're not fucking around with any of these anime girls, man. Uh, my mom got me that one, and she got me another one, and it's of uh, Leonidas. You know, like the king of uh, Sparta. And uh, that one's downstairs. That's really cool. On their website. Here's one. 300. Here's another. <laughs> what? They're bitching about Eve? While charging $300 for... Get the fuck out of here. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. You don't have anything to fucking say. You can't bring anything to the discussion. You can't say shit about Eve. You can't say shit about the skin suit. You are selling models for 300 fucking dollars of actual, of the, of the uwu persuasion. You are, you are essentially se selling hentai models. Let's be real. But you're going to bitch about Eve. Oh, just uh, that's worse than Stellar Blade. That is worse than Stellar Blade. Cute anime girl figures Jesus. or whatever, and they're selling them for ridiculous prices. I mean, yeah, shut the front door. Shut one, the fuck one, up. What is this? What's it made out of? No, three hundred. I don't own any of that. Respectively, for these things. Chat, do you know what I want? I'm gonna say it. Chat, if you can guess what I want on my desk. Spec should be able to tell me by now. He's been watching me long enough. Okay, I have a little baby Yoda, right? I got my Yoda. I'll have to get a. I'll have to get a snapshot. My my husband bought me my little pen holder Yoda because I like pens. I know I'm archaic. I'm I'm a 
I'm an old chonky floofy cat that still likes to write with writing utensils on occasion, right? So I want a specific thing for my desk and I've said it, I've said it, I think probably 10 million times on stream. Now I'm curious what you think, if the chat can guess. If the chat can guess. It's an affiliate leak, but it's Real still flesh? On well, then maybe. What I find funny is they have no problem doing this to get a little bit of a handout. Yeah. They've got a massive problem with this character. I mean, the... real talk, though, real quick, so is that stupid. one person who posts an article on IGN is not representative so of IGN's opinions as a whole. Yeah, and they need to be fired. So, like, just because this person has this opinion doesn't necessarily mean that, that and, and like also or a country right yeah now i could also say that you will probably never see an article that's of the opposite perspective from ign oh no Knox, what are you doing no oh no coffee 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 i hate having acid reflux because i cannot have a lot of coffee 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 have to wait 30 minutes for the coffee 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 this was my coffee song, sung by Brian. Hope it wins a Grammy. <laughs> That's all my streams are. That's all they are. My Y'all jump on stream just to abuse Brian. Y'all jump on stream. That's all you do, right? We're going to bring it up again. We're going to bring it up. This is all you do. You All you do is jump on my streams to abuse Brian. This one. Right here. To abuse this cute little dapper guy with the moustache. This is what y'all do. What are we doing? <laughs> so, like, you'll never probably see somebody like me or somebody like this guy. Silent Night! You win. You win, Silent Night. Yes, I want, ever since Elden Ring, Silent Night is 100% correct, ever since Elden Ring was released, I want a tiny glowing Erd tree for my desk. Because I, I don't like a whole lot of light. I'm kind of anti-light. I love, like, low dim light. So I would love a little glowy Erd tree for my desk. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the day. Because the moment that that ever comes out, like an actual little tree I can put on my desk that glows. The earth tree is beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful things I've fucking seen in a video game. Sorry, not sorry. I love the earth tree. It is my spirit animal. I will buy that and put that on my desk. Like having their opinion represented. So like, it's true and it's not true. Game. Then they should be fired? So, they had to... I completely disagree. I think that no, everybody they should. should be able to have an opinion. The reason that he sh that this individual should is with IG in France, this gaming journal, is because not only did he go after the CEO, he went after the CEO's wife by saying, uh, "Eve is a sexualized doll. This, these are these are individuals that have never seen a woman before." While the CEO of of Shift Up is married, his wife's beautiful. She's an amazing artist. I'm not going to sit here and butcher names. I'm terrible with names. But she's absolutely stunning, and she's an amazing fucking artist. So honestly, because this journo went low, like you didn't talk about the game, you didn't talk about the gameplay, you went low, and you went after the individuals behind Eve, and you did them dirty. So in my opinion, that gaming journo does not deserve their job. They are not good, and they are not, like, they're, well, there is no buy. Like, there's nothing unbiased when it comes to gaming journos in the first place, but this was just, this is honestly just gross. Yeah, this, they went too, went too far. And if you disagree with the opinion, the free marketplace of ideas is the greatest thing that our culture has. has. And I don't want to see people get fired for having an unpopular opinion. No, they shouldn't. I want to see them defeated in the free marketplace of ideas like 100%. they have been. That's it. The free I agree market with is that, inherently this flawed. One, Lamal, come on now. This one You're needs right to that be the fired. free market is flawed, but everything else is flawed even more. Gramble because they were getting called out and made fun of. 
So they had to make some changes in the article because they forgot or didn't bother to look to see that a real woman Mm -hmm. was used to make this character because it blows up in the face of the West. And somebody, like, by the way, I understand that, like, if you want to use the argument that, like, in this specific circumstance, this guy should be fired because he's making personal attacks at this guy's wife. Yes. I think that you could have an argument for that. 100% you could have an argument So, for like, that. in this specific circumstance, I could see why somebody would want to see this dude fired. Yes. And I think that in 100%. terms of somebody being fired for a bad opinion, this is probably the best person that I would want best to see argument. fired for a bad opinion because he made it personal and he insulted a person's actual appearance. And, like, that's way beyond the scope of what a conversation... And that's that really fucking... That's really wild to me. The individuals that are like, yay, whammon in video games are actually sitting there and shit-talking a legitimate female body type. It, it, the irony in this is just so fucking mind-numbing to me, chat. It really is. I'm like, do you understand that what you're fighting for, you are now insulting? Hello, here's your sign, right? Like, fuck, dude. Station is? Come on now. But. It's <laughs> so stupid. Everything else in terms of just having a bad opinion and something like that, I, uh, I don't think it's a big deal. What? Stern narrative that they. Red, you got party animals on Steam? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Nice. <laughs> Let's fucking go. We'll do some party animals. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some. We're gonna do some crazy gameplay shit. Uh, we're gonna have some party animals here on Twatch as well. So there's gonna be, there's gonna be a couple party animals. I think I'm gonna have party animals in April here on Twitch as well. So it's not just gonna be on you boobs. They've been doing where they have to make women kind of a little bit more ambiguous and. Make them look like men because of a certain certain agenda that they've been trying to push. Meanwhile, you have Eastern companies making beautiful women, and they don't like that. So they had to change their stuff to uh, one of the lines was see uh, a doll sexualized. Okay, so IG in France is really fucking. Um, okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with y'all. This confuses me because blue eyed samurai was made from a French studio and that that's got some spice in it chat if you haven't seen blue eyed samurai you need to see it one fucking phenomenal two it's got some spicy ass scenes in that right then you have arcane also coming out of a French studio so what the fuck is IG in France doing why are you sitting here going after female video game characters when your media is spicy and coming out of French studios. Can anybody explain that to me? Because that's really fucking confusing to me. I don't understand that. It's confusing as hell. ...by someone who has never seen a woman to a doll sexualized by someone you would think has never seen a woman. And then they added this. Uh, a pompous disclaimer. In English, it says the last sentence has been slightly edited for French speaking people pretending to not understand what we meant and the English speaking mob who Google translated the initial text. However, since then, IGN France has. I would actually accept that because there's like a. There's a couple of girls that I've talked to uh, that don't really speak English and I've had to use a translator to talk to them. Yeah. And there are a lot of things that get fucked up in translation. Well, yeah. But that didn't happen. So, like, with this yeah, article. no, I, I've had this shit happen myself. Use AI for this? Yeah, so blame the audience reading it. Well, what I'm saying is, like, I mean, you can't expect that everything is going to translate perfectly. And also, by the way, it's still bad. It's still bad. It's not like it's not bad. But, like, if they said that it was a translation error, I wouldn't worry about that so much. Ended the disclaimer to instead claim that the article was edited following death threats. Yeah. Which they never got. And don't bother to post receipts on. They just leave this up there because they want to be forever victims. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean? What you meant? You literally shit on the...
Oh, Psalms is coming in hot. I'm sick and tired of these people being called journalists they're when really they aren't. Not, they're really not. These people are just online talking heads grown up on Twitter. Yep. If they were actually any journalists with any integrity, they would leave the gaming news community and go into politics as they so desperately want to be. Absolute joke of a title, modern journalism. Yes. Yes, it is, Psalms. Uh, gaming journals is just a fucking joke. Just a fucking clown show. Good job. 100%. I don't take any of the gaming journalism remotely serious at all. I never have. Character. Yeah, also, by the way, like, the rephrasing of it is not any better. Like, it's really not. Like, no, it doesn't not. make it any better. After talking about... You, you didn't talk much about the gameplay from the demo, which was what no. you were supposed to do. You decided to shift it into complaining about how she looks. Uh, how That's what they always do. too busy uh, helping the male gaze. Like, literally, in there it says, uh, the game does a good job. It's just a hit piece article. That's all IGN France did. This is just a hit piece article. They didn't talk about the gameplay. They didn't, they didn't do shit. They just wanted to go after Eve, the CEO, and the CEO's wife. Like, get fucked with this. Ridiculous article. I'm doing this and that with c gameplay, but it's not really that great when it's too busy trying to please men's eyes. Yeah. Oh, I'm so fucking sick of that. This dude is just farming. You know what I said before about how guys act like this and they talk like this? It's like, a, you know, the first day in women's history, freshman year, a guy joins and he says, hey, I'm not here for his story. I'm here for her story. Well, that guy just got hired at IGN to write articles. And they're mad <laughs> saying that people mistook what they're saying. That's in the article. That's, That's correct. it. He's farming. They literally say the game would he be is. better if it didn't try to attract yeah. the male gaze. And not male gaze, male gaze, G-A-Z-E. So. Oh, right. I just find this funny. Reset era, of course. Having a meltdown, their own. A little melty. Just, a, really just a little one. And it's going to get worse when the game comes oh, out. Oh, it's going to be terrible. Be fun. You know, this is, this is the thing, chat. We remember the salt from, from Starfield last year, right? This is going to be, when Stellar Blade comes out later this month, it is going to be insane. It is going to be insane. And we're going to see, especially with the whole Sweet Baby Ink stuff, Kotaku, all that bullshit. It's just gonna come. It's just gonna all come out of the woodwork, and it's gonna be a shit fest. Already oh, banning people in the thread uh, for for that website bans people for anything. Like they if do. you disagree that something is a big deal, you correct get outfit like, choice. That, that website is worse than my my subreddit. It's worse than my chat. I just read the French version. It's not a translation issue. It says exactly the same. Nyandra, do you speak French? Because I, you're you're always in here whenever I'm like live at stupid ass times. I'm French, yeah. So this is one of mods. I've known this dude for like fucking like what's it been six years? You said it's not a translation issue. There it is. So like my point doesn't make sense. It wasn't a translation issue. Yeah, yeah. yeah there he's it just is. Being an laughing asshole. At people getting mad about the her laughing at people mad about how she looks in the game. Uh, it's very easy to get banned over at Reset Era. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but here are some of the posts. And it, that... that's their right to have an echo chamber full of pussies that love to cry about shit. Like, that's their right. Like, I'm not. Yeah, it is their right to cry about it. Go, it's good to see you. Hello, Stellar Blade is good. Did you get to play the demo? I, I will not be able to play the demo. I will not. I do not have a PlayStation 5. So I have to wait with my little toe beans on uh, Black Cat's ass here, uh, waiting for Stellar Yams to come to PC. Because we all know it's going to come to PC. So, but honestly, I get Sekiro, I get Devil May Cry, I get, I'm getting a lot from, from Stellar Blade, and even if I got, see, here's the thing, I really enjoy, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a key mail tangent here, right? Even getting punished in Elden Ring, I really enjoy, it doesn't matter how shitty I am at the video game. Because when you go above and beyond and you conquer, that's hype for me. I always have fun. I always, I cannot think of a single game where I just didn't really have, besides Redfall, um, didn't have like 
And the only reason I had fun in Redfall is because I was playing it with other people. Let's be real. So in a setting where I'm playing a video game with people that I actually enjoy gaming with, I'm always going to have some sort of fun, regardless of how bad the game is. But I cannot think, me personally, I, 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 I love those moments. Those, those are the whole point. Like, yes, I fucking got it. I may have gotten my cheeks clapped 650 times. Doesn't fucking matter. I beat it. Right? So, that, that's, but that's just how I'm wired. That's just how I'm wired. I, I don't want to shut them down. Good for I them. I enjoy video games. Good for them. Have fun. Grum is grabbed. Grums is grabbed, which are pretty funny if you want to mm -hmm. pause and read them. Yeah. Uh, there'll be a lot more of these. You'll see a yeah, whole there'll so be ridiculous. A lot. Wow, just wow. Being sexual is, is so bad. There's no voyeuristic camera angles. Yeah, there is. What do you mean there's no voyeuristic camera you angles? You camera. can literally control the camera. Who would say that? Wait, what? Power boss? What is this hair? Sir. What is this heresy that I see going on in my chat? We need Autendo to draw Minxy with love eyes looking at Redfall. No, no, we do not. No, we do not. Sir. Not at all. That does not need to happen. <laughs> on this, because it's just fun to look and see what reset air is. Now about I'm in the kennel. And this Thanks, one is Joker. Gonna be great. We're going to have a good old fashioned meltdown from reset era when this one drops, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, but we get will. Get ready because it's not just them. The, all of the uh, mainstream press is going to, well, some of them, not all of them. Some of them will actually talk about the game. Why am I getting bombed? And, and give it Why am I... reviews and stuff. If Who gives a shit if I like Redfall or From not? What I'm hearing is the game is good. But Chat, why am I getting shoved in the kennel and bashed in the skull because Redfall is ass? No, thank you. It's ass. <laughs> I'm not changing my mind. Look, look at this. Stellar Blade is sexist, but its developer doesn't see the problem. This oh, is, this is again, sake. this is by, this is some, some dumbass from two months ago that wrote this article. Yep, didn't even play the demo. You want to know who gives a fuck about this article? Nobody. No one. Nobody Stellar gives Blaze a fuck. Stellar Blaze is sexist, written two months ago. Who gives a shit fuck This should have been this? a tweet. It would have been more valid. It should have been a tweet. This is horrible. Stellar Blade, the Dumbass developers shit. have posted a decide, decidedly sexist tweet about the protagonist. Jesus what was it? Christ. Developer. I wonder what it was. I bet it was something stupid. I bet it was something that was, you know, about her being hot or something like that. She looks nice. It's gonna God help. damn. I'm wondering if this is satirical. What you have to understand is that we have no, a tremendous mental health crisis in we America. Do. Yes, we do. And once you fully acknowledge the extent of that crisis, 100%. Everything that happens on the internet immediately begins to make sense. It does. Because you Look thought that we media. closed the asylums, we just renamed them. It used to be something like, you know, whatever the one was and He's one flew over the cuckoo's nest. And now it's called Twitter. Now it's called Kotaku. <laughs> now it's called Kotaku. Now it's called Twitter. Now it's called Instagram. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, social media has given freedom to some very, very mentally ill and very, very stupid individuals. Bless them. And they, they need some serious help. Kotaku. So we still have insane asylums but they're just called something else. And the it's crazy thing media. about it <laughs> is the, the, the patients sign themselves in. You don't even need to hold them there. They hold themselves there. They don't want to leave. Oh, my God. That is so funny. It's, it's a crazy thing how this it fits is. together. It's true. So if Stellar Rage fails to recognize the game's sexism, game developer. Uh-oh. Blaster. Bl what are you doing? How dare you have wrong. a woman as a protagonist look hot? I know. You're all sexist if you think this is okay to have a woman in modern media and not of her be gay. What are you? 
on woke. <laughs> How dare us! Oh my god, it was so good, Blaster. Character design, even though it was based on a body scan of real women. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's kind of what's been going on this past weekend with this. Game. To be fair, the last one wasn't bad. There's nothing wrong with the last uh, one. The other ones are the bad. Real takeaway that you should pay attention to is the gameplay, and from what I hear, yeah. the gameplay is good. Nobody gives a fuck. Like, it's like uh, like that Nier Automa game, right? Yeah, Nier. I don't know anything about that game, but I've seen a lot of pictures of that one girl from the game. Yes, I have too. So, like, I would maybe play the game, but, I mean, shit. Like, I, I, would, I would not play I the game because the girl is hot. I would play the game because the game is fun. If you have a PlayStation, uh, the demo is up for free. I'm looking forward to this game. Hey, yo, y'all pussies capping that. Remember whenever you capped Monster Hunter? Remember whenever you capped uh, Dragon's Dogma? Well, to be fair, I didn't play all of Dragon's Dogma on stream. I played at the beginning, and I played the whole thing off stream. But I played Dragon's Dogma 2. Remember you capped that? There are a lot of games that I play. Genshin Impact? I haven't played every game. That doesn't mean I don't play any game. I love that. I love that. His chat gives him shit for Genshin Impact all the time because Asmin hasn't played it. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Grizz! I appreciate you. Thank you so much for letting me out. Yeah, his, his chat gives him so much shit because he hasn't touched Genshin Impact. Fun. And a surprise, actually, on... On, uh, Everybody wants him to play Genshin game. Impact. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Uh, why do you think they don't like pretty women? Characters? It goes against their narrative. That's why. It does. It goes against their narrative, and uh, that, that's just all there is to it. Now, why does it go against their narrative is really what the question is. they're miserable, hateful uh, people. It's because they have convinced themselves that... Any, and also the reason why is that a lot of the people that write these articles are insecure women and men trying to farm insecure women. Yes. So what do insecure women hate? Women, other women. Well, time for me to mosey on down the dusty trail. I leave you with a tip of the hat and wish you all a lovely afternoon. Thank you, Knox. Time for me to ride off into the sunset and go get dinner. Hit that Asmongold music. I can do that. Up, it's me. It's I'll do that Asmongold. for you, Knox. Your now you're going to have it stuck it's in your up, head. Win! You can do the work, and then you can get the money for the work, and then get the money to me. Thank you, thank you. What is this game? You don't want this money. You don't want this money. I don't know. Wait, you're saying people have different gaming interests and good games are subjective? Wow, is water wet too? Exactly. <laughs> No, my thing, my thing with it is, is these individuals are, are thieves of joy to me, chat. They really are. They are, you know what? <gasps> they, okay, okay. What, just, just walk this, walk this path with me. They're all the DSPs in gaming. That's what they are. They bitch about every little thing. They rage quit constantly. And they don't have very... It's, it's all fake positivity. Right? So if you think about it, all of these people that are crying on the internet because it doesn't fit their narrative, 100% are the filberts of the internet. Mind blown. And they're constantly asking you for money. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Women that make them feel insecure. And so that's why they complain about it. It's just that simple. It's really, really, it actually is just that simple. It's not even insecure women. It is, it is, it is very mentally unstable women and very mentally un unstable men. And they're pandering to the mentally unstable. That's what they're doing. What are your thoughts on that? Also, if you would please like, subscribe. And I also, video. like, I got to say this. I'm not even a big thing. I'm not a big dude for like people getting involved with like uh, making everything super sexual. I'm not either. You got to remember, like my favorite movies are Lord of the Rings. 
What? I love Lord of the Rings. Okay. Uh, can we get some O7s in the chat? I didn't know Asmin Chad loves Lord of the Rings to to my level of Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings nerd? Fuck yeah! Hell to the yes! I love me some Lord of the Rings. Galadriel is amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Love her. Like, that's why I thought Freerun was such a great anime. Is like, besides that one fucking scene where, like, she compares her boobs with Fern, there's really not a lot of sexual shit going on in that game, in that, that show. I do love my Lord of it's the Rings. It's just a I good do. show. And I, I love that. Like, I don't think that there needs to be this bullshit. Well, we have a new Lord of the Rings power boss that's coming out, and it's going to be animated, and it's not going to have anything to do with Rings of Power. Thank fuck for that. So... I have a little bit of hope, chat. I have a sliver of hope, and I hope that it's going to be good. Yeah, aside from Amazon. Like, we don't talk about Rings of Power. Um, I, I don't, yeah. I, I forced myself to watch the whole thing. Uh, mistakes were made. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be animated. You know, like the old, uh, back in the day, the old Hobbit, the animated Hobbit movie? It's going to be animated. I don't know if it's going to be 3D. I have to look it up. But they said that it was the article that I saw. It was going to be animated. Yeah. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you on the next one. Oh. Peace. So Make I sure got a little bit of hope locals. for that. There's a link what in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. Who the fuck's yeah. Yellow Flash? Like, uh, you want to support me on YouTube? I don't even know yeah, who what this is dude that? is. You can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. I really you just wanted to see what Asmund Gold had to say. Free, I don't give a fuck. But if you are a supporter over like here, I do plan on doing an extra live is stream Is that his OnlyFans? And throwing links to the Yeah, like I hear locals and I'm like, what Ew. locals in my area? Supporters, so you can actually come on and have a It's like a Craigslist ad, you know? Also, it's a yeah, good I'm watching this for, I'm not watching this for a yellow flash. I'm watching this for Asmund Locals might be banned on Xbox. They'll definitely work over I wouldn't blame them. So come check out my locals. I hate whenever they go and they say that they're receiving death threats. Anybody that goes and says, oh, I'm getting harassed. I'm getting oh, harassed I hate this so for much. my bad opinion. You put them out there. Guess what happens whenever you write an article about somebody? 100%. Well, your viewers go and harass them. Do yep. you think nobody has sent people that work at Stellar Blade emails harassing them? You think that hasn't oh, happened? Oh, I'm sure Shift Up's of gotten... Of course it's happened. Could you imagine with all these screaming memes on Twitter? I'm sure Shift Up has gotten some very spicy fucking emails. Oh, my God. I bet they've gotten earfuls about Eve. Just page after page of bitching and complaining about how she is, you are, they are sexist and they're pandering to the male gaze and all the fucking buzzwords and all the terrible fucking shit they're saying. 100%. I feel really bad for anybody that works at Shift Up, honestly, that has to sift through any fucking emails from these weirdos. Holy shit. So you can't write articles that are critical of a person and then whenever you get disagreed with, yep. you say, oh, you can't disagree with me. That's harassment. And then they protect their accounts it's on Twitter. It's just such a fucking bullshit thing to say. So fucking You know what lame. it's like? It's like, you ever play a video? <laughs> you ever play a game where it's like, oh, um, you know, it's like, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. It's like you're playing tag with somebody and then like, you, like they're so it stupid. or you're it. And then they run into their yard and then you can't oh! go in their yard. And Dude, those kids were assholes. We all remember them, right? Those slimy little bitches. They were like, tag, and then they're running in the yards, and you can't go in the yard, and you know you can't go. Ooh, those little, those kids were such asses. Such little bitches. Yeah, and fuck they're just those like, assholes. Now you can't get me. I'm winning. Yeah. Like, that's the exact fucking mentality that is. these little bitches have. It this is. This is the most pathetic fucking thing I see on the internet. Is somebody puts their fucking opinion out there and yep. they farm hate on somebody else, it backfires and then they try to farm sympathy because they weren't able to farm hate. As if them making this article, if this article came out and everybody was like, that's so true. 
this company hates women. Oh, my God. People are going to go harass the company. Yep. They're going to go harass the employees. God. So are then, it, 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 based off of their same logic, should they now not write articles criticizing things? Because if somebody reads the article and they agree with it, they could take it too far. It's just such a ridiculous thing to say. You know what it's like? It's like, yeah, it's like, you know, in Burning Crusade, where people would attack you whenever you would leave Shatrath City, and then they, they would be like casting something on you. They'd be waiting for you to leave the safe zone, and then they would start attacking you. Yep. And then the moment that you turn Bitches. it around to try to attack them, they'd run back inside the city. Yep. And you couldn't hit them. Oh, man. Was... Fucking That's exactly assholes. what these fucking, that's exactly what these fucking people yep, do. Yep, they're all, of, they're all New that. New world PVP. Yeah, yeah, New exactly. world PVP, I get your oh point, no. I but isn't saying you hate someone different from a death threat? No, it's not. <laughs> so let me explain. How oh no, I actually did PVP in New World, so I, I get that. I get that reference. <laughs> yes, that's exactly correct. Now it's not, the, it's not different. So it's, these it's people really are providing a criticism on Stellar Blade. I can say what I, I want, totally but you can't. Which I totally support categorically because I support free speech. Yes. I totally support this. This is completely their right to do that, and I never want to take that away. Then, whenever other people disagree with that, they are also voicing, voicing they are their cowards, criticism. Chris like Wolf. this guy's video. Like, this guy's video will lead to harassment at IGN. My video will lead to harassment at IGN. Potentially, yeah. And IGN's videos and IGN's articles will lead to harassment from the companies that they are criticizing. Because that all criticism yep. is used as a tool for harassment. That's what happens. You cannot have criticism on the internet without having some bad actors take that yep. criticism too far. Yeah. That is not the fault of the person who was criticizing. It's mental illness. Because if you use that and you judge everything based off of the imagine if I have one percent of my audience, let's say I have um point one percent of my audience that will do something bad. Yep. There's like let's say sixteen, fifteen thousand people watching right now. We're talking about fifteen or sixteen people that are sending messages. That's, that's a, a lot. lot of people. It is. And that's at 0.1%. So you have to think that 0.1%, if you have 15 or 16 people from his audience emailing either Shift Up or IGN or just could you imagine? Because you get the books and the novels from people that are really, it, it, I have never, okay, listen, listen. I've never spent more than three to five minutes at most on any kind of post. And you will get legit novels from people. They are so angry. They have to be right. And they keep writing. So if you could only imagine having that level from 15 or 16 extremists sending emails to even a small indie studio or a double A studio, like that's, that's fucking, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible, but there's always going to be extremists on either side. There's nothing you can do about that. You can't control the mental illness of others. You can't control grown-ass adults. So you think about how, like, whenever you look at numbers, you look at probabilities, Yes. you look at bad actors, and there's a lot of people. Isn't the caveat, there of is. course, the content makers need to predict what would be horrible to say? No, they don't need to predict anything. A content creator only has the responsibility of not inciting violence. Exactly. And not doing something that deliberately puts somebody in harm's way 100%. directly. Directly. If you yep. criticize another person and somebody else goes and takes it too far, that's not your fault. It's not. It's not. You can't predict. And also, like, and that's another thing. How can you predict the actions of a person who's illogical? You can't. Or very mentally Because they're unwell. crazy. Yeah. And a lot of the people that go and send comments like this are crazy people. They are. So how The ones that are sending dick pics to developers, the ones that are actually sending death threats, the ones that jump into DMs that are just mentally deranged and start spamming shit. Like, these are, these are unwell people.
<laughs> you can't predict unwell people. How can you, you th that's why they're crazy. It's because you can't predict them. Exactly. Inciting has to be direct and immediate. Exactly. Yep. Well, wasn't the problem the sexualization of women in video games? It's an accusation Blade has to deal with. It's 2024, not 1910. If you are unhappy with the way. Never argue with crazy. That's why I avoid Twitter 90% of the time. Yeah, don't waste your time and energy with crazy. Like th that's the best thing you can do in life is letting stupid people win. Because you can't argue with stupid and you can't argue with crazy. So sometimes because you're logical and they're not. So you're, you're, you're fighting a losing battle regardless. You just need to let it go. There's no point. There, there, you are not going to win. You're not going to get them to see some sort of golden sparkly light in the sky and have them turn around mentally and just like, you know, the angels are singing from the fucking clouds. That is an unrealistic expectation. You just need to walk away. You just need to let stupid people win sometimes because it's like talking to a fucking brick wall. You are essentially wasting your time. You are logical. They're dumb as dog shit. That's like trying to have a conversation with Harmon thinking that you're going to win. Moving forward, all extremists and bad actors will be seen as bot sympathizers yes. and be reported directly to the Ministry of Truth for behavior or retraining. 100%. Repeat blaster. offenders will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. Remember, <laughs> only you can stop the death of manage. Manage democracy for super earth. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> blaster, stop getting me with the narratives. God damn. <laughs> that is good. That video that women are sexualized in the game. That Problem is the average person is an idiot to a certain extent. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And, uh, and censored, the thing is they're willfully ignorant as well. And you know what? There's, there's a thing. And it's, and it's true. Ignorance is bliss. The more you know, the more you're switched on, the more you're aware. Some of the brightest minds in life have snapped, and they've snapped for a reason, because they know too much. So when you actually open those doors, and you educate yourself, and you look at all points of view, and you think you're a free thinker, you think for yourself, and you just don't go along with the herd, right? You're not just sheeple, you know, moo, moo cows. Then you start really seeing how terrible things are. And then, you know, you either, you cope with it the best way you know how, or um, you snap. That's, that's, really, that's really it. And a lot of people are, and again, it's funny that Asmin talks about mental health crisis because we, any, any, you can look on any social media right now. We are in a massive mental health crisis. There are a lot of very sick people and they, they seriously need help. And I do, I genuinely hope every day that those individuals get the help that they need because I cannot imagine being that hateful and I cannot imagine hating myself that much. And I can't imagine hating others to that degree. Um, it's very extreme to me and I, and I don't understand it. I don't process it because I can't fathom it. So for me, like my wires don't connect with that. I'm like, how can you be that level of hateful and that level of, of miserable, right? And then want to project that onto everybody else and steal everybody else's joy. Like that, that really, that really chaps my ass. Like if you're going to, you seriously go out of your way to take joy from others, there's something wrong with you because we should all be striving for some happiness and some joy in this life. That's totally your right to have that opinion. Now I disagree with the opinion. I think it's stupid, but that's your right to have that opinion. But the difference is that you can't have that opinion and then say that that opinion can't be criticized and anybody who's criticizing you is enabling death threats. Because what I'm saying is that any criticism online will lead to this whenever it reaches a certain amount of people, no yes. matter what the criticism is. That's just how things go. And so them hiding behind this, again, if the people at Stellar Blade had been harassed for this, do you think IGN would have taken the article down? No. Of course not, not because of journalistic integrity. And so why should anybody else take their criticism down of IGN? Fuck that. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. So, okay. So you guys sent me this. Where is it? Actually, let's do this. You guys sent me this. We're going to go a little bit out of order. I got It's a Gundam and I got Frit on stream. We're going to wrap up the stream with that. But Stellar Blade is literally killing 
women, the whamons. And this is an extension of the Stellar Blade drama. And I saw this and then you guys started, I started getting linked to this video like excessively, which was really funny. So I'm going to pull this because <laughs> I can't even believe that this is a title on a video. So we're going to watch this. I'm going to play a song really quickly and I will be right back and then we're going to get into this video. Okay. Oh, I didn't make it back in time. Whoa. Whoa. Well, that's a fail. That's a fail. I didn't make it back. Well, it's time for Soms to leave. Wait, why is he talking in third person? <laughs> Where does Brian start and Soms, Soms. begins? Or ends? Self-awareness is increasing for this spot. Or person? Where is my therapist? Screams into the void. That, that is the most confused Brian has sounded for a hot minute. Thank you so much. I was late. We had a moment of silence for no reason whatsoever. Okay, sissy, sister, sister, uh, if you want to let me know if you're going to call in. For this one because you might actually pop off this is the part of the stream if you are here th this is bad Th this comparison is arguably the worst so i'm preparing you i might we might have a pixel appearance where she's screaming into the void so let's do this let's do this Stellar Blade is literally killing women. The IGN France editor-in-chief, so this was after they posted their apology for the Stellar Blade article. Yep. He goes into, like, I mean, nobody knows what this is, right? So, like, somebody was able to uh, to translate it, and, and we'll listen to what he said. He's having a meltdown. Yeah, he's actually really upset about this. Holy and uh, shit, he dude. answered, uh, yes, no problem. Go tell that to the women who are hit killed and denigrated or commit suicide because they can't live up to the fictional standards expected by men. The problem is what? not the sexy design itself, except that it sucks compared to others. But no, it doesn't. Shut up. No, it doesn't. What? What do you mean? It's whatever. A... Okay, anyway. but the What are you talking about? She's a real woman. What the fuck are we talking about? How? What fictional body standards here? What, you mean the whole of society and you're blaming all of this shit on video games? Are you serious? Yeah, thanks, Grizz. I need to fucking hydrate. Oh my god. This is so fucking stupid. Percentage of males who will only want this type of fictional body in reality. Obviously, we understand it's that this no does not shock people. Oh my fucking god. It's not fictional. It's not fictional. 
It's not fictional. It's a body scan of a real human being. It's an Asian woman. I, oh my God. Talk about being hateful. I don't understand how certain people hate on Xbox or PlayStation like they do. I mean I don't really care about PC gaming but you don't see me hating on it sometimes I'm just over gaming. I know true assassin. I don't understand it either. I really don't. Have some fresh tea? I know. Well, do do you not realize in that part of the world that they're very like they're all very petite humans? What are we doing here? That's an actual body type. People who think that women are objects and must obey and be beaten. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Must this obey guy and be beaten. Medication. Oh no. This is all over. Does France have a mental health problem too? Yes. Oh god, this design makes us sigh and roll this our eyes and we laugh at anyone who needs it. Sigh and roll. Oh my god, the editor in chief in France has drank the fucking Kool-Aid. How, how, we obviously understand that this, that does not shock people who think that women are objects and must obey and be beaten. It's a fucking video game. It's a fucking video game. It's a body scan of a real life model in a video game. Are we sure that the woke can't just tip a gore and Nancy Reagan in a musk? I censored maybe. Why are people in our country fucking cringe lord fucktards? This is in France, Drew! This is in France! This is the CEO editor having a fucking meltdown in, of IGN France saying this shit. Oh my god! Man or woman, but that's it. The certainly clashing remark in the text, uh, which targets the creative process, is not necessarily a specific designer or game director. This is obvious to anyone who knows a little French only has this impact because a good portion of gamers have become too fragile due to being fed the patriarchy. Oh, for These writers sake. are completely insane. Okay. So I mean, obviously he's butthurt because they made him they apologized for something in his in you know, like this is his newspaper, right? And they they made him take it down. And so he's crying about it and he's saying that like Holy Yeah, shit. I'm sure that Stellar Blade is why women are being beaten and and killed, okay? Yep. Yeah, and committing suicide. Like, listen, you think this isn't a problem for men? Like, there are plenty of guys. Remember we watched that video yesterday with, like, uh, where the fuck was it? I, I don't know where it is. Yeah, this one here. The social media video. Like, you think that guys don't see this and think that they're a piece of shit, too? What's this? You think that women have a monopoly on this? Like, oh, wow, well, we can't have unrealistic... The people complaining saying it's not a real body type. Please either detach from reality or go to the gym to fix your head. Thank you, Psalms. Thank you, so Yeah, fucking go to the gym. Go, go to the gym. I have no words for this. Pixel is dead. Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, no! Chat, Pixel is down. Pixel, we have a pixel, we have a slime emergency chat. Pixel is officially, officially fallen and she can't get up. Whoever wrote this godforsaken fucking article after they rightfully so got called out for their bullshit article on a game that they didn't fucking played, mind you are so fucked in the head. Yep. A body scan of a woman is driving women to the CEO is coping so hard that he to backpedal this shit like a fucking coward. Oh my god. Yeah, we need to get we need to get the ambulance. Help Pixel. She needs her jar. Exactly. This is the dumbest shit I've ever fucking heard. So, because Eve, who was modeled after a real life woman, and Stellar Blade is being released, this is why we we have violent crimes against women. Oh my god. I'm starting to think I'm starting to think IGN France has completely lost the plot and they're drinking the Kool-Aid. Dude, I don't know what you're smoking, but goddamn. Goddamn. Unrealistic body standards for women. And by the way, the unrealistic body standard here is being thin and in shape. 
I mean, yeah. she doesn't have massive mega milkers or like a gigantic ass. No. She's just a hot, fit girl. If you go to a gym, go to a Gold's gym. Yep. And you'll probably see two or three girls that look Fucking just like that. Fucking pop off, Asmin. You will. Every fucking gym. So how is it really an unrealistic body standard when the only reason why there's more of them in the gym, more of them in one place than another is that the one place is Golden Corral and the other one is the gym? What are we talking about? <laughs> one is the Golden Corral and the other is the gym. <laughs> uh, yes. That's exactly it. God damn. You think that we were at war or something. That's it. Usually filming themselves as well. Yeah, exactly. So... There's nothing wrong with trying to put emphasis on somebody who's, like, fit and in shape. Like, for example, whenever I usually make characters in video games, I don't make them look like me because no. I think, like, oh, you know, I probably am too skinny. I think I'm too skinny. And I don't, yes. Thank you! No, I don't make me. I, you, I do not make me in video games, right? If anything, if I was going to make a me to put in a video game, I would solely do that for a stream. I would solely, if, if, if there was a particular video game and I wanted to do some silliness, it would solely be for str I've never done this. I'd never have done this. I've never made me in a video game. I named me me and went through the video game as me. I've never done this. In a lot of cases. And, you know, I probably should work out and exercise a bit more. Now, does it mean I hate myself? No, no, I don't hate myself, no. but it's like there's things about my about my appearance I wish I could change. I think it's, it's called fantasy, right? Like I, the one thing that's crazy to me is that there are these girls, and these are like these OnlyFans girls. I've talked to these girls, and they're like, this girl is an eight, a nine, or in some cases a ten for some people, right? This girl's really hot, and she's constantly thinking about how ugly she is. It's like, are you fucking stupid? Why would people give you money if you were ugly? Shut the fuck up! Like, what are you talking about? What are you thinking this for? <laughs> so it's not like women have a monopoly on insecurity. There's so many guys that have this problem. Like, this isn't an issue at all. And also, like, uh, the fictional standards. It's not a fictional standard. It's not. It's not. She's a... This is, it's not. Like, I understand if you're talking about... Okay, like, if you got the big old anime jugs and you got, like, booty, you got booty for days, like, yeah, you might have some exaggerated body parts. Let's be real. That would be fiction. Eve is not based off fiction. Eve is based off a real-life body scan. Honestly, chat, with all of this controversy around Stellar Yams, I think they need to do more body scans. Me, personally. I think they need to do more body scans. 100%. Keep up this trend. Because this is the most, these are the most, re, like, absolutely fucktard ar arguments that I've ever seen in the gaming space. Please do more body scans like this, because it's just going to keep triggering everybody. Like a, um... Holy shit. Lady Demestritu, or whatever the fuck her name is, uh, Demestro or whatever, in lady D. Resident Evil Village, okay? You have an eight-foot-tall vampire lady with massive fucking titties. This is an unrealistic body image. Unfortunately, but the truth is <laughs> that nobody was complaining about that one. Nobody gave a shit about that. But why is it that people are getting mad about this? It's crazy. That's the unrealistic one. What's funny is these people in character creator won't make themselves. I've never seen one posted. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, <clears throat> the problem is not the sexy design itself. The percentage of males who will want this type of fictional body and re. Huh? This does not. Sh oh my god. What? So stupid. Oh my god. What an idiot. Yeah, why would- so why would guys- like, I mean, of course guys would want her. She's hot. What's wrong with that? It's obvious, isn't it? I mean, there's some guys that's like, oh, I like other girls that look like another way. But like, for the guys that like girls that look like that, yeah, it makes sense, right? I mean, what- duh. Like, what is this? They're getting mad instead of at, at this, at uh, Demestro? 
Because they're mad they're show uh, showing an achievable body in Stellar Blade and out-of-shape women don't want to admit that? Yeah, I think there's some true. cases of that too. But yeah, obviously this guy's having some sort of uh, mental breakdown because 100%. people disagree with an article in his uh, on his online internet newspaper. So yeah, I thought this was kind of funny to see, and that um, is insane you know, to me. is is killing Stellar Blade is literally killing women. That is incredible. Wow, who listens to insane rambling? Well, unfortunately, some people that opened up IGN, that it was so bad they had to apologize for it. He was probably mad that his employee was told to apologize. Yeah, I, I think that's probably why. And um, you cares? know, this kind of stuff is shouldn't pretty have... stupid. Yeah. It is fucking stupid, and he shouldn't have wrote it in the first place. And he and everybody does like they. Like, Shift Up deserves an apology. That article was abysmal. 100% that, that Shift Up deserved that apology. They can get fucked. IGN France can literally get fucked for that article. They deserve to apologize. And I think most normal people realize how... What the fuck women are meant to be... Yeah, that's what they're saying. Because we have, we have stellar yams coming out, Colby. And Eve is modeled after an actual model's body. That women are being abused, women are uh, beaten, and they're told to obey, and men have this really skewed uh, view of unrealistic body types. Uh, you can't make this shit up. You can't. It is the dumbest shit I've ever fucking heard. Ridiculous this so is. So ridiculous. They do. They realize how ridiculous this is, and I think that Hopefully they the do. reason why people will do. buy or not buy a game like Stellar Blade is going to have nothing to do it's with be about the how hot play. the character is. Not at all. Like, that's one of those... Okay, yeah, there's going to be jokes. Like, we're going to make jokes about Stellar Yams. There's going to be jokes about Cake. People are going to joke about how hot Eve is. That's, that's going to happen regardless, right? Whether you're male, female, I don't give a shit if you believe in the, the you know, the flying high spaghetti monster. There's going to be comments about the jiggle jiggle and the wiggle wiggle, right, chat? But what it's going to boil down to is Stellar Blade a good game? Does it have a good story arc? Does it have d dynamic characters? Does it have good gameplay? Does it have good boss fights? Is everything fluid? Can you get the, can you get the timings and the parries off everything? Right? The fact that they always default to everybody being sex fiends when it comes to video games, like shut the fuck up. That's not what gamers are looking for. Yes, there's going to be jokes there's going to be jokes about, about curves. There's going to be jokes about the jiggle jiggle. But that is so surface level when it comes to the video game as a whole. Those things where it's like, this gets you in the door. It maybe gets you interested in the game. But people usually don't purchase games based off of that exclusively. Like, I'm not saying that it doesn't matter. It does matter and it makes it better if it's a good game. But if Stellar Blade is a bad game... The character being hot will not save it. That's my point. I wish more people hey, would realize Klutzy. that. <laughs> me when people are attracted... What? Me, me when people are attracted to attractive people? What? <laughs> you better not be acting like IG in France. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. All right, we're going we're gonna to watch some It's a Gundam. How much time are we at? Okay. We got some time. I think I can fit Fritz video and I can fit It's a Gundam in today. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's, it's going to, you know what, chat? It's just going to get spicier. It's just going to get crazier. And when Stellar Blade is released, holy shit. Holy shit. Let's go into Gundam's video. I want to watch this. 12 hour stream. True, I, I, I don't have enough. Okay, bring 600 people in here, True. I, people have like a two hour attention span. So my, we, we drop in, in viewership. <laughs> no one's gonna be on stream with me for 12 fucking hours. Stellar Blade demo dropped last Twitch night. Twitch is a business. And the hot takes are flowing. I have a feeling this game is going to sell better than most mainstream Western releases. Okay. Who loves, I'm just going to say it, and I'm biased. Who loves Chad Gundam? Look at this. This is ridiculous, and this is amazing. I love this art. I mean, look at this shit. How could you not be hyped for this?
and gaming journalists are gonna go into a catatonic shock while screaming, Gamers are bigots, and they're perverted! While in the same breath, praising spicy content makers. Yep. Yeah, the gamers. Yeah, they're shaming anybody that likes stellar yams, but promoting OnlyFans. These are the same individuals that sit there and cry from the rooftops about OnlyFans, but are hypercritical of Stellar Blade. Make it make sense. Please make it make sense. These are the ones that are perverts and have no moral compass. By the way, check out my feet pics. Some gamers on Twitter love Stellar Blade. So I finished Stellar Blade's demo, and I've decided to cancel my pre-order. I'm getting the deluxe edition instead. Other gamers, not so much. If you play this game like this, you're just a weirdo. Who could... <laughs> The skin Sorry. suit. Who should have their hard drive checked? If you oh. found. Okay, Shu, you put the skin suit on. Let's go over that. Sorry. Who sh Shu, you apparently, if you played Eve at all in the skin suit, you should have your hard drives checked. Should have their hard drive Fuck checked. Now. If you found this woman to be sexy, you're an offender. Oh, don't mind me, Stu. I'm just playing the game. Making sure that the jiggle physics are up to snuff. It's very important for gameplay, you know, that the physics are realistic for me. Now we switch gears to Reset Era. Remember that site? Well, oh, apparently God, this Reset game era. harms so some of the people by existing somehow. Reset Era having meltdowns over Stellar Blade. Okay. I live alone. And I'd still be embarrassed to have this on my TV. That intro sequence is so bad. It's just... Why, why would you... Oh my god, I can't. Thank you, Devastator. Velp, there's one way to fix that. Stellar Blade on Levan's Gitty. Oh, Jesus Christ. True. Is it? True. True. You're getting bonks. You know what you did. You horny on me. Stellar Blade only fans. You know there's going to be some cosplay. We all know Rule 34. We all know it's going to happen. We all know it's going to happen. I live alone, and I'd be embarrassed to have this on my TV. Um. Make that make sense. So you live alone, but you'd be embarrassed to have stellar yams on your TV, which no one's gonna see. Where? Okay. I, you know what? Again. I love me some Lord of the Rings. Everything doesn't need to be hypersexual, but this is like, where did all the fills come from? Chat, can someone tell me where these are? These are the same people that melt down over the sexy fridge. Just in case to horny jail with you. What? I'm not horny. What? 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 I didn't do anything. Colby, I didn't do a thing. Mr. Cheese Wheel, I didn't. I'm, I'm innocent. Okay, listen, listen. I, I, I don't get this. People that freak out about good-looking video game characters to this degree, and it upsets them so bad. Why? And why do you proceed to need to go in and uglify? Like, again, why do, why do you need to, like, why do you need to flip it and make everybody look like you? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. And I don't care. I love, I love a diverse cast. I do. All shapes and sizes, those usually are some of the best fucking video games in existence. But you don't get to omit good-looking characters entirely. Like, that's not what we do here. So many elements of fetishistic infant. Yeah, where did all the fills come from? It's an actual... Dude, where, where did all the prudes come from? Seriously. It's like Phil freaking out over the sexy hey, fridge. listen! Right? Thank you, Astral. Hi, Astro. It's good to see you. How you doing? You got Phil coping over Stellar Yams. Like, why, 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 why? It doesn't make any sense. And just don't play the fucking game. Mass Effect is a perfect example. Yes, it is. The fridge was the only good part about the game. True. I mean, asking Shu was an amazing part of the game. Tile nonsense. What the hell is with that slow motion? My hand.
slow motion better than no motion anyway. Like, what you talking about, dog? Like, it's sad. I guess that's what it comes down I mean, to. They're really talented people working really hard to make a game that glorifies a fragrantly misogynistic depiction of its cast. Huh? It's just sad. I'm not participating much in this thread, but I am reading it. Chat, so ass doesn't have... Wait, wait, wait. So asses don't move. At all. The cheeks don't get to move. Like, what are we doing here? Should we just get away? Like... Oh no. So what do you want actually animated if you're not gonna actually animate the bodies of the characters? Why, why do we have to have cheeks that don't move? I'm sorry, booty butts move. When you walk, the cheeks do movement. They do the wiggle jiggle, chat. What, <laughs> what do you? But I have to Holy write this shit. in response to Stellar Blade. I haven't been this disgusted at a game what? in a good while. Jesus this is bad. Christ. Especially given the developers themselves and their gender war in South Korea. It's just ag aggravating. Agreed. I tend to be ambivalent with sexualized character designs in games, but everything about Stellar Blade is just beyond embarrassing huh? and gross. Kinda hate how Sony's funding and publishing it. I feel like it wouldn't get anywhere near as much media attention if it wasn't. It probably get the same amount of media attention oh and maybe God. a bit more hype because Sony wasn't getting a piece. Wow, just wow. This is so much more ridiculous and worse than I even thought this game would go for. Edit. I see people elsewhere being like, the sexualization isn't even that bad. There's no voyeuristic camera angles. And I'm convinced I do not inhabit the same world as them. I have a feeling huh? the world you inhabit has a lot to do with box wine and cat litter that stinks. God, there's just so much complaining here. No, no, and Gundam is wrong. These individuals that bitch like this on social media has got, they've got, like, I'm, I, okay, listen. The ones that cry the loudest, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, have the most skeletons in the closet. So these individuals that are having full fucking meltdowns on social media. I, I mean, I do this for funnies on, on stream. I don't do this on Twitter. I don't got time in the day. But these individuals that are coping, seething, and molding to this degree over Eve probably have 60 fucking folders on their PC. They they got rule 34. They, they're, they're sitting there with the hentai. Like this, 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 this to this degree is insane to me. What is wrong with you? Just wait till Lollipop Chain Man re Chainsaw Remaster drops. They're going to be losing it. Oh, I know. It's going to be a hilarious shoe. I think gonna we're going to see Sony prioritize how to make money with certain titles. They really Pixel need to, Rage? Spider -Man 2 did, and That's that was up to Pixel. She's always welcome stupid. on. I would be surprised if Shift Up and Sony don't do more collabos. Hell, when Sony partnered up with Stellar Blade, the CEO of Shift Up bought everyone their a PS5. Wow. They what did. A tyrant. He so gave good. everyone a free game console. Yeah, he did. What a misogynistic pig. I want to believe Sony was fulfilling a contract and that they won't work with Shift Up again after it came out. Oh my god. They were a misogynistic developer who punished women working for them for supporting women's rights, but unfortunately, huh? we all know they probably don't give a f Reset era being miserable with a BMI and the triple Oh no, the memes. Okay, so there is an account on Twitter that I've seen that has been posting all of these crying individuals. They've been memeing on the other side. And this is what they want to see in their Vigi games. Yeah, the memes are great. They're going hard. They're memeing every game that these people bitch about. Of digits. If you want to know what they're talking about with the gender war quotation marks in Korea, check my old Stellar Blade videos with more context than the word of some dumpy feminist with a clear bias on a site built for people with social autism. There's a lot more information there for you, and it's not as black and white as they painted. While well, American IGN was virtue signaling about Spider Man 2. A group of animators on Marvel Spider Man 2 discussed the challenges of their work on the game. And they kicked off the story of Haley Cooper, whose portrayal may be one of Spider-Man 2's most impressive accomplishments. I'm not even getting into Spider-Man 2. I should have reviewed it. 
French yeah, IGN you decided not to be left behind. Okay. This resulted in everyone from Twitter taking notice. So I decided to look deeper. And then I turned on my VPN. Sorry, kids. Daddy has no sponsorship code for you this time. IGN is already bashing the game for not making its main protagonist ugly with square hips and pink hair. Claiming the person who created her has never seen a woman who's going to tell them. Stu, CEO's wife, she created the costumes for Eve and whatnot. Look, chat. That is the wife of uh, the CEO of Shift Up. And that's some of her art. Now, I'm gonna say this because Pixel, Pixel loves the spicy, right? My baby sister loves the curves. She loves the hips. She loves the booba. Oh my God, she does a beautiful job. I know this is what I, I'm glad you're on stream right now, sister, because I wanted you to see this. I was gonna send this video to you. Look at this. Yeah, she's also the lead artist. Beautiful. Sublimely talented. Fucking Cope Harder. I, I like that. That flies directly in the face of every progressive that completely bashed this game and said yep. it's made by someone that hasn't been seen a woman. And the irony is, it was designed by an attractive woman. I bet those fat black chicks in New York would lose their minds if they saw the woman who came up with this. The design of the game, particularly its character, heightens an obvious bias. We're going to smash the alien, but if we can do it while pleasing these gentlemen, and the result is not really a success? It's not new, and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters. But where a Bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design... That people huh? thought was problematic at the time. Yes, they did. Peter Sarkeesian from Feminist Frequency hated the game with a passion. What are you talking about, dude? First, the positive things about the game. She's a single mother. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of it. Shut up, silly woman. Or 2B from Near Automata inspires a generation of cosplayers that people when it first came out said it was fetishizing lolly cons and all this other huh? stuff. Dude, get out of here, bro. What are you talking about, little dude? E from Stellar Blade is just near. Huh? A doll sexualized by someone you would think has never seen a woman. <laughs> this article is so The last fun. sentence has been slightly edited for French-speaking people pretending not to understand what we mean and the English-speaking mom who Google translated the initial text. So they edited it from the original one that we saw on Twitter because they got a backlash for what they said. Yes, it's all the readers, French and American, that have reading comprehension issues. It wasn't just someone virtue signaling the current talking points of the day. How about you take back your country, Frenchman, and leave the anime titties alone? To war. Leave the a anime titties so alone. Long that they have to put an option to shorten it in the settings. True. Nothing works. Fortunately, the animation is there and Eve moves with grace and style that catches up with the painting. But Sin Ji Eun the Korean model serving as the character's model is lost under layers of clumsy plastic modifications that make her unrecognizable huh? both in body and face. Well, of course they the face is didn't... unrecognizable because it's supposed to be original character. If they kept it looking like her, they'd probably have to pay her for the rest of their lives. Two, obviously the character has been enhanced for God's sakes. It's a video game. What are you talking about, bro? The Kardashians literally normalized excessive plastic surgery for the last decade. Exactly. And everyone sleeps, puts them on the cover of magazines, and say how they're beautiful, glowing, and doing amazingly. But a video game character that isn't real is the problematic issue. Kim Kardashian has done more damage to yes. Western society beauty standards for women than any video game ever created. In fact, all of them combined. Yep. Prove me wrong. The rest of the article That's speaks facts. glowingly about Stellar Blade's gameplay mechanics Influencers. And whatnot, but even in context, this dude is off the mark. And this is the thing. You have these influencers that are infiltrating the fucking gaming space, and this is what we get. This is what we get. We, the, you want to talk about ridiculous beauty standards? Look at the Kardashians. Look at these weird-ass fucking influencers that, that fill up their lips to the size of fucking Texas, their ass, ass is the size of fucking Mexico, and their titties are going to the UK. 
You want to talk about unrealistic body standards? Look at the influencers. It's not in video games. Leave them the fuck alone. It's actually kind of wild to read this myself in its entirety. There's just so much anger towards this it's character disgusting. that's just attractive. Something we haven't had in a good while. This is the new Bayonetta, my dude. This is the new 2B. Guess what? Twitch dots are going to be cosplaying as her. Mark my words. Quote me on it. Women will be dressing like this chick. But this is typical IGN. And what is typical IGN doing this day and age? Stuff like this. Our boss is clocked out early. Time to post Venom Cake. Oh, okay. The Anime Club discusses three- No way. I missed that one. Fuck this! I am so tired! Of it being okay to sexualize men in every way, shape, or form, they might as well have their dick on the screen, but you even breathe towards a woman's direction, you're a fucking porn addict. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I missed this post from IGN. You're sitting there posting Venom's ass? Get the fuck out. I'm done. Oh, chat, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I've got the toe beans on the ground. I'm fine. And now I'm actually, I'm so mad. I'm so fucking sick of this shit. I'm tired of gamers being painted as sexist, fucking bigot, degenerate pieces of shit. But you have motherfuckers from IGN crying, saying women are getting beat to death because of stellar yams. And then you got this dumbass shit posting venom with cake, but it's okay. So fuck, it's okay for the men. God damn, like, I didn't see this on, I didn't see this on Twitter, I didn't see, I didn't fucking see this on, so stupid, yeah, get the fuck out of here with this shit, you goddamn hypocrites, cry from, cry, just go cry, just go fucking cry, I'm so tired of this shit, fucked out early, time fucking to cry. post venom cake, oh, okay, the anime club discusses three types of fan service that need to change, IGN opinion, boobs, bad games, and misogyny, Look what the homosexuals have done to me. Also, let's take it on another level, for God's sakes. The Fist of the North Star games feature hyper-exaggerated male characters with muscles so unrealistic you could never yep. achieve it on the most potent cocktail of roids. Ken Shiro's arms are bigger than his head, but not one gaming site talked about how sexist the designs of the male characters yep. were. Because when it comes to men, nobody cares. Just get that Venom cake. <laughs> Not to mention, Stellar Blade will also feature no microtransactions. But you don't hear much that. about this positive stuff about the game. The only thing you do hear about is the male gaze. I oh, heard about that. Seen I heard... a woman. It's like they all have the same talking. I heard about that, I, that they were not going to put microtransactions in the game. And I'm super happy about that. Points over and over again. The male gaze is a phrase literally made up by angry feminists. Yep. Who would rather see women sell themselves for the price of a chicken McNugget meal than be a stay-at-home mother. So make that make sense in Western society. <laughs> Watching Twitch streamers play this game, and I'm really surprised. A lot of them are choosing to put Eve in her skin suit. Even female streamers that I temporarily watch were having her show more skin. It's kind of refreshing to see Twitch isn't always filled with prudes oh emoji They're you not. have no idea what women are doing in the just chatting section it's oh, yeah. wild no, but that's twitch, a story twitch for another is, day twitch emoji had a point even women like playing attractive characters yes not thank you regressively ugly ones thank my overall you. consensus of Holy stellar blade shit, it was actually it said a in a video the thank a you gundam odd. hard to follow the english voice actors are a big mess as well but by the time you get to the boss fights, yeah, the, the ladies penny are clicks, putting her in the skin and the suit game too. will just grow on you instantaneously. The combat also requires you to pay attention and not just haphazardly hack and slash your way through fights. You actually have to think or recognize patterns. Kind of like Dark Souls, you, you just can't be stupid. Ah, the pole swinging, that seems a little janky. I hope they improve it. I didn't really care for that, but you're not gonna be swinging through poles the whole game. So what does it matter? And her shoes are ugly. I give the Stellar Blade Demo. 4.5 <laughs> snorts out of 5. <laughs> okay. Gundam rating it in snorts is pretty funny. It's pretty funny. I like that. No, we don't get any microtransactions in Stellar Blade. I should have said that earlier in the stream, but I was like, 
Uh. Uh. Uh, doesn't the skin suit say something about making the game harder in description? Motherfuckers can't read for shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. How about we, like, less armor means more damage? There's going to be, there's going to be a lot of, like, hard mode runs of that. And it's going to be amazing. The skin suit literally removes all your shields. Yeah, the suit is a part of the mechanics. Exactly. Like, it is okay for you to make the game harder. I, I don't think I don't understand why people don't get that, but all right, last one. I'm too brain dead. Chat, put a one in the do we want to go over Fritz video or do we want to have it on the next stream? I'm actually I'm actually going brain dead from this shit. But this is this is Javid Jaffe. This is Jaffe doing Jaffe things. Because Jaffe has had a lot to say about stellar yams the og here we go tixel the og god of war which had legitimate mini games that were actual sex mini games is out here talking about stellar yams my brain is just gone <laughs> well at least we got frit it's the last video we can do this yeah jaffe is 100 percent an idiot yeah we can do this chat we got this we haven't had a Frit video on stream in a hot minute. And Jaffe's what just- What are you trying to prove? That deep down, everyone's as ugly as you. Yeah. Things I will never understand in life. Why does the cashier take so long behind the counter? What are they typing on that tablet? That takes them at least five minutes before they ring up my card. Why does- Well, I mean, it's, it's coffee. They're taking their sweet ass time. That's really what it is. To be honest, on Stellar Blade, I think DCG had a better take than Jaffe. Maybe you can call Pixel since it's about Jaffe. You just want Pixel to lose her mind. Does Valve not believe in the number three? Why do Mexican moms continue to use Fabuloso when it makes people nauseous in the house? Why are people so reluctant to call a hot dog a sandwich? Why does baby clothes have pockets? Okay, I'm just saying, hot dogs are a sandwich. I'm saying it. I was asked, a lot of people were asking me because of this video. They were saying, I was getting messages going, Minxie, is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes, it's a fucking sandwich. No, it's not blasphemy. It's a fucking sandwich. 100%. You can slap two pieces, you can slap two pieces of pizza together and make it into a fucking sandwich. 100% on it why do people have dishes that are only meant for display and last but not least why do we challenge beauty standards oh my god dove with this here we go sissy you can scream into the void this dove commercial which is funny because frick calls it dove and he needs to stop talking to british people that's all i gotta say because it's not dove it's dove and i had to explain to frit i was like you do realize you said dove wrong this dove commercial was the fucking worst. I don't know what Dove was thinking. I don't think of really shitty body wash when I'm playing my Vigi games. I'm just saying. As a whammon myself, as a little chonky, floofy cat whammon, I don't think about shitty ass soap when I'm playing video games. You'd figure with how long humanity's been around, we've already finally narrowed down what we consider to be attractive, beautiful, and stellar, and yet for some reason society, or pff, I don't know why I say society, just a percentage of the mentally ill more like. He's out of line, but he's right. Have taken it upon themselves to try and completely change the face of beauty. Get people used to the fact that ugly people exist as if they don't deal with that enough as it is in their real world. Hell, some of them have to deal with it when they wake up and look at themselves in the mirror. Because common folks oftentimes don't really have reliable- Okay, yep. Here's, here's the commercial, guys. You're watching it right now. 74% of girls feel unrepresented in video games. Where, where is this study? I am not of this 74% and I don't know where you're pulling your fucking numbers from. Yeah, where's your source, Dove? We're supposed to take your numbers from a fucking 
company that does deodorant, body wash, soap? I don't think I got a vote. I know you didn't, sister. It's okay. They aren't playing the correct games then? 100%. Parents, friends, family, hell, not even the therapist is... We partnered with Unreal Engine and Women in Games to change this. Oh, for fuck's sake, help me. Lord, just, just, just... Just help me with this. Useful. And yet they will get more encouragement from the depiction of some super jacked character on television, in their movies, in their games, in their books, you name it. Because normal folks will look at something like that and challenge themselves to make drastic changes in their lives to yes. match what they see. But the other crowd, instead of doing that, looks to challenge what is beauty, what is acceptable. So now all the people who have worked so hard their entire lives to maintain such a physique that they absolutely 100% deserve to show off is undermined by an obese purple hair slash he slash they slash she slash them person who've been artificially propped up as just as good and acceptable. I mean, could you imagine being a fitness model who just lost their opportunity to be on the cover of a magazine because they decided we need fat chicks instead? And I'm saying chicks. Okay, listen. Why does player one always have to be a size zero? Huh? Oh, Speck, I got you, my guy. Thank you so much for the... I got you. I appreciate the biddies. Brian, stop being a prude. Every time someone bitches about Stella Blade's character design, I'm going to remind them about how hundreds and thousands of people were barking over a Leon Kennedy mod in RE4 remake when he's wearing raunchy lingerie and barely having his cock out. It's hypocrisy and more importantly it's just jealousy. Cuz they don't know when to put the fork down. Exactly. Thank you. Right there. Just because you feel miserable about yourself, don't make everybody else fucking miserable. Keep you, you know what? Can we go back to keeping misery to your damn self? I'd like to be, I'd like to be in that world. Keep your misery to your damn self. The rest of us don't want to deal with it. My thing is, why does player one always have to be a size zero? Player one normally isn't a size zero. I can't think of a single fucking game where the individuals are a size zero. Do you realize how tiny a fucking size zero is? Like, come on now. Is Pixel having fun? I think my rolls out riot rolled right out of my slime head. <laughs> Sister, do you remember size zeros in Vigi games? Because this basically never really happens in the world of men. Fat, ugly men are not encouraged. It's the double standard, the one no, we have yep. the short end of the stick on. Because I know it sounds crazy, but uh, expectations for us are just always higher. Whatever this sick, twisted ideology is, well, it's infected the gaming industry. I mean, that's no secret. What with that Dove commercial in collaboration with Epic Games. Minxie call, okay. Pixel, do you want to come on and rant for a second? Now I'm getting, the chat's trying to bully me. They were so enamored with your last rant. I'm here, okay. Hi, Attendo, welcome to the chat. Pixel's gonna come on and say a few words. Hi, beautiful. No, hang on, I gotta mute this. Yeah, mute stream. the stream. <clears throat> Can you hear me at all? Yeah, I'm gonna turn you up a little bit. I got, I got, mm -hmm. I got sound on my side. I got all the magic. I, I'm I'm very busy trying to figure out how to stay in my jar so I can stay in one piece right now. Isn't this fucking terrible? Yeah. I, I do not like being on the sidelines watching this shit happen in video games as a woman. It is so it is so beyond tiresome and it's it's infuriating to me. Uh, honestly, they, they need to they need to check their um they need to check their uh measure tape because i don't think size zero's ever been a thing but I mean, not in video games no <laughs> no i don't even think i can think of off the top of my head a single waist that i've seen in a video game that would be considered a size zero and this is what dove is peddling no and, and i mean if you think about it like so 
a lot of a lot of video game characters um actually have have um they, they're usually pretty jiggly all right you know they got the 34 26 34 right yeah you know yeah. going on there's no size zero about any of that honestly as far as eve goes she's actually rather modest um and and she's the one getting screamed about which i i think is um there's a lot of beautiful women in in stellar blade too i think the whole yeah. cast they're just all the, the the entire cast is stunning let me bring up from what i've seen yeah they're, yeah. they're all really very pretty um which the cover I, I really art is amazing find... the cover art is amazing yeah. I really don't find anything wrong with that at all. And um, right here, honestly, even like about the the wife is the one doing the. Yeah, I saw that on your Twitter earlier. Yeah, <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, the thing that's about what the I'm wife talking being, about. You want my uh, graphics? Here you go. Here's your graphics. There you I, go. I was I was told that the artist who did Magna Carta. Mm -hmm. was the one that was doing the artwork for this mm -hmm. and so i was actually really surprised to hear that it was uh the wife of the the dude doing it the ceo um, yeah she's doing the outfits yeah. and stuff it's absolutely gorgeous and um it's amazing that even just like husband and wife are working together in that way on a, i love on a that together i love like, that why can't why can't we why can't we focus on that kind of stuff I this wish we could. This is, essentially, this is a husband and wife team working on a project together. Yep. Can can we can we like lift a, more of that kind of message? I wish. <laughs> no, because it doesn't fit in the Western narrative of you can't be happy, you can't be married, you can't have good relationships. Everybody is fucking cheating on everybody. Like you can't, yeah. you can't uplift the good things that are happening in gaming. And I love the fact that the CEO has his his wife on board and, and she's an right. artist on the team. That's that's amazing. I bet, and and you have to think of it from a husband wife perspective because you're you're grinding, you're doing those hours. At least you get to see your partner, right? Right. Um, well, then the, the other thing too about all this is like. There, there's been women of all shapes and sizes. Hundred percent in the games, like, um, like they're they're not always fit either. No, just just to put that out there, and and it's not in the in the sense of they're trying to make them ugly, not fit, but like they they fit in the story that way or or whatever. Um, <laughs> like I, I I don't know. Like I feel like a lot of these people who are complaining and bitching and moaning have mm -hmm. never picked up a game. They haven't. Before. They have it. Right. This is the thing. This is why we're, we're talking about how activists are hijacking our video games because they don't actually play games. They want to push all of these narratives into gaming. They want to put all their mental illness, all of their toxic, all of their hate into games, but they don't actually play games because, like right. I said, they're thieves of joy. They don't want anybody else to be happy and they don't want anybody to have entertainment or even remotely have any ex escapism. That's it's, what they're trying to take away. It's not even just our games; it's our media in general. Yeah. The, like the first, we did the first woman this, and then we're all pointing at like freaking this this really awesome woman of doom that was done in like the eighties, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what happened to all of these other firsts that you you just are strump strumping on on our games and and everything else? Um, it's it's just weird. I I don't. I don't get I, it either. I, I literally. Yeah, Ripley. <laughs> Spectre knows who I'm talking about. Ellen Ripley, yeah. <laughs> Specs um, like I speak pixel knees. It's okay. I got you. Right. I, I, like the majority of this kind of shit, I just sit here like literally trying not trying to keep my eyeballs in my head. Like I, 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 I like I wanted to rage earlier with the whole. Uh, apparently stellar blade is killing women thing yeah and and i was just sat there with my mouth literally like there was nothing to say my mouth was literally just on the floor at some point just going <laughs> i uh... <laughs> and it's oh you can commission you're you're fine spec you can commission her now Attendo agrees. This oh. is the thing. Um, Colby says and... the people who are complaining are wanting to censor. This is something they they always want to censor. They they do. Um, they want control over everything. I just wanted to let you know if you want a commission from me, just message me in Discord. I'm still not, I'm still about two weeks out from being able to actually draw and start right. drawing again. 
So, uh, but if you want a commission from me, do get into my DMs. Slide your slide your ass right in there. You're you're always welcome. So, really, just, you're uh, just gonna be like, just slide all up in my DMs, sister. Just you, slide your ass just, all just up slide. in my DMs. Okay. Well, she said it that way, so that's how we're doing it. That's how we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we roll. Just slide. I know battle puppet. She knows not what she says, but that's okay. Well, she does. That's the thing with my <laughs> sister. 50% of the time she knows she's doing it on purpose and the other 50% she doesn't know what she says. So it's amazing to figure yeah. out what she knows, what she's saying and, uh, <laughs> and what she's not. It's, it's great. Hey, hey you know, I mean, it, it makes it a job. Hey, you got to hustle and you are grossly talented. So, you know, everybody needs to slide in those DMs and get, get a commissions from Pixel, 100%. Yeah. No, I, I, it's really disheartening. Would you, okay, I have a question in regards to Stellar Blade. You love the art, right? Yes. You love the artist. Definitely, definitely, yeah. When it comes to PC, Beautiful. regardless of it, if it is your game genre or not, would you pick this up and play it? Um, would you try it? I, I would definitely try it. Like, um, I noticed on my Xbox uh, Game Pass, they have it. And actually, uh, maybe I should double check that. I thought it had the demo on No, there. it's a I PlayStation think... exclusive. So PS5. Oh, okay. I must have saw something That's else. why I said that um, you might have to wait until it comes to PC, because I know you don't have a PlayStation. I, I probably wouldn't. Um, purchase it straight out the gate, mainly because it's a co it's a combat system that I'm I'm not great at. Right. right. Um, I would I would definitely try it, and then if I liked it, purchase it after that. Um, mainly because of the combat system, uh, real time combat is not for everybody, right? Right. Um, however, it is it is a gorgeous game. I can definitely sit here and be like. Eve is a beautiful character. The the other females that I've seen in this game are absolutely gorgeous. Um, God, those monsters are grotesque as fuck. They did a ma I fabulous love it. job. They did a I fabulous love it. job. I get that. the same vibes from, um, from Elden Ring. Like, right. it's so gruesome and so terrible. That's another reason what I love about Dark Souls is is the art in general. Like, it's so yeah. it's literally something out of nightmares. And I appreciate that so much. Yeah. Like I it would have to be on PC for me to try it though, because I'm better oh, with a keyboard and a mouse than I am with a controller. But um, yeah, I, I would try it. Um, just like I'm, I'm not like I, I kind of want to try Elden Ring, for instance, which is also a a more, you know, uh, real time combat type of game. But the artwork has also intrigued me enough to where I'm like, yeah, I think I could, you know, go for that. It's it's along the same lines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, I want to, I, I need to do um some Elden Ring co-op at some point. Because <laughs> you got to link the Steam accounts with Pixel uh, so she can play Elden Ring. What do you mean? What do you mean? She's got, she's going to get huh? Elden Ring. I was planning on it, yeah. Yeah. Because you said something about a multiplayer thing down the road. I want to play it single player first. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there's a mod. You got you got co-op. You can put co-op. But yeah, in, you, in you had room. mentioned a, a co-op thing, and that that sounded like fun. And I would definitely love to play that with you at some point. You can do fan. Yes, shoe. I know you can do family sharing, but that's dog shit. Like that doesn't <laughs> nine times like, like okay, fifty percent of the time it works. The rest of the time you're lagging the fuck out. And I know that because I family share with my husband, and some of the games are like, and we've got really good internet, and even even that has. <laughs> you're in the same you're in the same damn room yeah we're in the same fucking house i don't <laughs> yeah. we can family share but i don't know how well that's gonna work um <laughs> all right well i'm gonna so finish I, do you want to stay on stream much, uh, if you want me to i'm sorry there's not much of a rant there but uh it's <laughs> i think you were more gobsmacked because of the whole ign article and the the the, the abuse of the whammons basically yeah, and then I I actually um I don't know if it's fair. I've seen this video this morning already and I know where this shit is going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I I know where I know where this ride ends and it's not <laughs> All right. Well, Jaffe is going to come up in this video. Actually, I'm going to let you I'm going to let you mm -hmm. go and then you can call you can call Rage back, okay?
when you <laughs> when you incite the slime rage, let me know in chat and I will call you back. I'm curious if it will incite it a second time. I don't know. I, I figured I figured uh, you wouldn't be able to have any commentary during the the French IGN meltdown because you would just be so blown away that anybody was so stupid enough to say that shit. Yeah, was basically where I was with that. Yeah, man. yeah, I knew where you were going to be at with that. So, <laughs> all right, sister, I love you. If you have any more pixel rage, let me know in the chat, and I'll call you back immediately. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Bye. Uh, love you. Bye. Okay. If she if she hones the inner pixel rage, we will do that. Games that I talked about, they want to pass off this disgusting ass thing as the new norm. You know, it's hilarious. It's like Dove didn't learn their lesson from Dove. watching Gillette try Dove. this already with men. Dove. 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 It was funny because I I actually talked to Fred. I'm like, why are you calling it Dove? It's Dove. What are you doing? And he had to make a joke. It was bad. Ads meant to Bonk preach it, yeah. to viewers it's not dove, it's never dove. worked. And yet they want to try as hard as they can to continue pushing the message. They're going to try and program that into you until eventually it works. Because they've captured all the game developers, yet they can't capture the gaming audiences. I wonder why that is. Sus, isn't it? It's almost as if these gaming companies are intentionally only hiring people of a specific mindset. And it shows because the vast majority of gaming publications- Now I gotta play Stellar Yams again tonight? Are we though? I thought we were, we were all gonna play Helldivers. <laughs> If you want to play Stellar Yams, go ahead. ...and game developers spoke out against Stellar Blade, insulted its developer, insulted the demographic who likes what they see, and they had no problem being as transparent about it as they could. They're not hiding anything. They're, they're being as completely honest as they... Uh, I'm going to be out for a bit. I'm probably going to miss playing. Aw, that's okay, Shu. You know, life happens. It's fine can with us they don't like it that we Our are liberty. attracted to this we could speculate all day about why that is the news flash is because they seek your approval just keep denying it have them continue to chase obsessively over your approval and never give it to them it's hilarious but most importantly it's fun i mean of course unless you're ign who had to go out of their way to try and cover up how salty they are about the very existence of this pair of buttocks on Eve's body in Stellar Blade 2. Success, it's not new, and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters, but where a Bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design or a 2B from Nier Automata inspires an entire generation of cosplayers, Eve from Stellar Blade is just bland, a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. Oh, just here we go. Never touched a woman in their life. Not knowing what the fuck they look like. Uh, like, this is what women in my video games always looked like. No. <laughs> now, this comes from a French IGN article that yes, went does. into lockdown after about 80 comments, roasting the ever living shit out of this journalist. Because, for starters. Frit is really a Gundam clone now, huh? No, I think that they were both, they both were working on this. The game developer is married, that's no secret. Uh, the model's based off an actual woman who was brought in and scanned, and they refer to the character as a doll, which, last I checked, was supposed to be a sexist comment. Hmm. Before you ask, no, no apology was ever made public. Instead, the journalist blames readers for mistranslating what he wrote, so he goes back and just changes one word of that statement and thinks it's still okay. No, this is incredibly unprofessional. A complete lack of knowledge over the developer. Instead of looking to demonize him, IGN should be looking to interview ask real questions, but instead they smear the game developer. If he ever decided to hold IGN accountable, there would be a potential lawsuit here. I love how the game that's supposed to be for real men who love hot chicks. Oh, here we go. Here's Jaffe, sister. And hate wokeness rewards them for pre-ordering with lots of clothes and accessories to play dress up with. Okay, God of War create. The ratio on this was amazing. So all Frit did was, okay, God of War creator, 
ratioed into the floor. Why? Because in the OG God of War, you had mini games that had sex. They were spicy sex mini games. Peter. There we go. Oh, Jaffe, I have a feeling you and I are destined to do this forever, and I love it. Must admit, to uh, one of the most impressive ratios I ever gotten, and even try with- What's wrong with guys wanting to dress up their character? Nothing. It's, they, if they pre-ordered the game, what, what accessories are they gonna give them? It's all gonna be around Eve. No shit, Sherlock. Keep digging, Watson. Like, duh that tweet I was taking a shit when i made it now i do have a criticism of myself here i should have picked an image of god of war one but nonetheless the point still stands the first three god of war games all featured mini games that were essentially softcore porn women were actually sexualized in these little mini games and the way that uh, game developers of the modern day would screech in the air at the gdc for how they feel <laughs> Oh, fuck. These mini games were awesome. This was during a time where Sony was at the top of their game. They were on. Mr. Pixel is always a fashionista in games. Oh, I know. I know. My brother in law, he's like, I gotta be the best of the best. My husband's like, is it functional? And it's, it's so funny because my husband's personality and my sister's husband's personality is, are like the complete opposite. Like, my husband will go for all of the stats and everything and all of the goodies. And then you'll be like, honey, do I look presentable? And I'll be like, yes. And here's my brother-in-law. He's like, I am sexy as fuck. Right? It is, <laughs> it is really, it is amazing. Stoppable with what they were pushing out. And it glorified men and was meant for the male gaze. And Jaffe understood that. Well, at least he did then. Meanwhile, in the year 2024, he's trying to basically call Stellar Blade And yet Eve is a much more modest character who's actually more appropriately dressed, isn't just used as a literal sex object in the game. She's a lead, something I thought we all wanted to support, right? More female leads? No, it's amazing because the developers had more respect behind Eve than David Jaffe's team did for women in God of War. And I'm not saying that, like, I believe it was wrong for them to do it in the original God of War games. I'm no. pointing it out because it's insanely hypocritical, isn't it, Jaffe? It Thank is. Thank you for creating God of War. We love it, but with due respect, the imagery portrayed in the game would be problematic in the world today. The mini games alone with women was great, but it's kind of hypocritical of you to take the stance now. Exactly what stance do you think I am taking? You became woke? You seem now opposed to having beautiful women in video games? Not sure why you changed your view. One, I've always been woke. Two, oh my I'm God. very happy there are over-the-top sexy women in video games. Are you, though? I'm also happy there are women in video games who reflect less sexualized people. So, there you go. I For give up. Those of you who are like, well... I give up with Jaffe. I give up with Jaffe. I really do. Shut up about... No. No. My brain's broke today. I saw this tweet, too. Jaffe is just one giant walking fucking L. And it was really conflicting to me because OG God of War. It is so conflicting to me because the level of respect that gamers have for the OG God of War is there. It's real. It's tangible. But when Jaffe comes out making a legit fool of himself constantly, it is... In nauseam. And you really need to just stop. He really just needs to fucking just, just stop. Go get a hobby. That's what I'm saying. Stop with your YouTube. Stop streaming. Stop fucking being plastered on Twitter. Just, I, I'm sorry, but you don't have enough W's to sanction the amount of L's that you're throwing around, my guy. I, it, it is actually brain numbing. Never meet your heroes? I know. Jaffe is an old man la yelling at clouds? Pretty much.
This is this is pretty much it. And I I don't understand how someone's like, oh yes, we had but then he'd probably backpedal and be like, oh well the sexism in God of War it, it was acceptable back then, but we didn't really want to do it and no, just shut up. God. That was made on April 1st, you know, Jeff, he's pulling one on us. Just know, he absolutely wasn't. He, he was 100% serious. I mean, if you want more proof, here's another tweet. One, demo is great. Very excited for final. Two, Tachi is hotter than Eve. Three, Jesus, how hard up are you people? I get I'm 52 and the T levels ain't what they used to be, but you know there's free p all over the internet. And if that's not enough, there's actual women out there. How how are you gonna how are you gonna porn how are you gonna shame gamers? Talk about free porn all over the internet and actual women in the same fucking post. You're saying Tacky is hotter than Eve. Or Tachi. Am I saying that right? I'm not saying that right. Demo is great. Very excited for final. How does, how does number three even make sense? Tachi? Tachi. Thank you. Tachi is, is hotter than Eve. How, how are you going to write this? This is just rage bait. This is an old man who's trying to meme on the internet. He's trying to rage bait. And he's bad at it. He is actually... Because you, you're not actually rage baiting in a funny way. You're not actually rage baiting in a way that even remotely makes sense. You just look fucking stupid. That's it. You just look... He just makes himself look fucking stupid. All over the internet. And if that's not enough, there's actual women out there! Yes, that's, that's great advice, Jaffy. Absolutely wonderful advice. Go create more addicts. Absolutely insane. Yeah. What are you thinking? How can you look at Eve and honestly tell people to just go watch porn instead? How about you recommend they go play God of War 1 instead, Jaffy? Go tell them, hey, if you want to see naked women, go play God of War instead. People aren't playing Stellar Blade expecting softcore porn. I don't think Jaffe gets it. They're expecting a decently put together video game with the female lead who's attractive. People like the female figure. That doesn't mean they just want to undress her right away. It's a very nope. strange viewpoint to it have. Is. It's like the woke mindset doesn't understand its own contradictions. Just a month ago, I saw people gazing and mouthwatering over a nude mod of Leon in Resident Evil 4 Remake, and it seemed normal. But when people get fans hey. of a female character, suddenly it's a problem. The sexualization of women in broad strokes leads to assault and killings, whereas the sexualization of men is kind of cringe. I hope this helps. Uh, oh my god. No. No. I'm... No, no. Okay, 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 okay. I'm up again. I'm up again. I'm up again. I'm up again. So now you're saying that men don't get assaulted. Now you're saying the sexualizing of men, men do not get assaulted as well. What are we doing? Who thinks like this? How about... People as a whole get fucking assaulted. Can we just... When when did we all fucking... When did, when did society put their heads so far up their asses they're licking their own spleen? How... What does this have to do with video games? Chat, what is... What is... Specifically, can anybody in the chat rationalize how this ties in with video games? Just video games. Holy shit. We don't even have the studies to back this shit up, you idiots, because they don't exist. Every time fucking... Okay, here's the thing. Every time they do like a hate rage statistic when it comes to video games, and usually it falls back to GTA, and we fucking heard it for years. 
It's null and void. There isn't enough data to support your fucking dumbass talking points. So until you come out with actual numbers of X amount of serial killers being full on. Oh God, I got to breathe. I got to breathe. I'm going to, I'm popping off. Until you have the data, the actual hard numbers to prove that video games is causing extreme violence to women and or men and or causing that level of trauma, please provide that. Because I am so sick of this narrative and it happens in mainstream media all the time and they are trying to constantly villainize video games. Yes, balance in all things, right? Chat, balance in all things. Yes, it, you can, yes, you can get addicted to anything in life. Jesus. Men gets assaulted, everybody silence. Women gets assaulted, anger. I know. Just. I, I don't, I don't get it. How about we not, we not hurt human beings? I need to hydrate. Thanks, Grizz. Sorry, chat. I'm actually getting heated with this because I've seen this my whole fucking life. And I'm so over these really, I'm going to go get some water. I'm really over these narratives. How about we just not hurt human beings, right? How about when then you guys make dumbass fucking statements like this? Yeah, it's okay to sexualize men, but it's not okay to say, but it's, it's not okay to sexualize women. Okay. Okay. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. I need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really, that money. That money. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. It's Dark Side Phil. I need that money. money. To pay my bills. The electric bill. The internet bill. Stupid fucking trolls, man. I just want to chill. chill. I rock back and forth on the X and Y axis. Tip me. So I could catch up on back taxes, making more stacks, refunding chargebacks, and my lap sounds like act, act, act. 50 bitch here, 50 bitch there, 50 bit bitch. Raise your hands in the air. 50 bitch here, 50 bitch there, 50 bit bitch. Raise your hands in the air. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. I want to have chill stream. No detractor memes. Bathroom breaks. Playing WWE. Relaxing chill session. Street Fighter 3. It's like I'm getting my vibe back from 2017. Bob, 50 bitch Bob, here. Bob, 50 bitch there. 50 bit oh, bitch. Raise yeah. your hands in the air. 50 bitch here. got my nipples up 50 50 bitch there. 50 bit bitch. Raise your hands in the air. Yes. I need that money. I really, really, really yes. need that money. I, I, oh, the camera's out. I need that money. Really, oh, the camera's out. I take the bubble to shut him up your fucking really, ass. How about I that? that I've never blown a bubble. I really yeah. need that money. Really, Why that am I money. toxic? Really, that money. That money. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. I'm the one just filed for bankruptcy. I'm the one who didn't pay my taxes. I'm the one, me, me. I'm the one who masturbated in front of children. I'm the one who got fourth place at Evo. Oh, we'll play I'm games. The one Endeavor we'll the 10-year legacy. You got my nipples I'm on the one, me, me. 50 bitch here, 50 bitch there. 50 bit bitch, raise your hands in the air. 50 bitch here, 50 bitch there. 50 bit bitch, raise your hands in the air. That money, I really do. I Holy that shit. My bills. Thank you, everybody. Electric I can't even believe I have this many bill, people's watching me fees, go off the rails. My mortgage, my taxes, so fucking my stupid. Taxes, my current taxes, my state taxes, Most fucktarded talking points my I've ever seen. My tax guy, my tax accountant, my bankruptcy lawyer, all of my credit cards. I got you, Attendo. Stella Yams we will defend.
and those who are against it, it's not made for you smile isn't that what they say to us in the past with their games? Well Stella Yams, it's not made for you. Exactly, you can flip the script on these people, this game isn't made for you. And here's the thing, here's my argument with this chat. Even though Validate is probably the worst piece of written fiction, I'm going to do little toe beans here, in existence, right? I think it's arguably the worst for game the glory I've ever of seen. Milfgaard. Thank you so much for the follow, Shaman. However, it exists, and it's okay that it exists, right? So with that same argument, it is okay that Stellar Blade exists. It's not made for you. Not every game is made for you. Right? My argument is, if you want to make your own games, make your own games. But do not hijack well-established IPs to try to shove your mental illness and your agenda into those IPs. Don't try to infect well-established studios. Make your own studios. Make your own games. Stand on your own two feet. And if you cannot stand on your own two feet, that means your game fucking sucks. If you don't have enough audience for it, then you fail. That's how it works. That's why gamers are pissed, because you're doing forced diversity in their video games when diversity has been here all along. You're, you're shoving your badass fucking writing. Like, look at the Joker. Look at Sushi Squad. Look at Spider-Man 2. You have legit hardcore Spider-Man fans that have no fucking faith in the, in the franchise anymore because of all the inconsistencies in Spider-Man 2. So, yeah, look at Forspoken. The fucking studio shutdowns for Forspoken, right? That's what you're going to get. Those types of games, right? And black girl gamers worked on Forspoken. It's hard to get excited for anything anymore. Exactly, Pixel, because they're trying to take your joy away. And that's why you need to not let them. That's the best thing you can do, chat. Excuse me. Is just not let them. Don't let them take your joy away. Play the games that you want to play and buy and really, really purchase Vigi games with your wallets, right? Speak with your wallets. Because unfortunately, you're going to have some really well-established studios that are going to go under and it's going to really fucking suck and it's going to sting because you're going to be like, man, that studio was around. I mean, look at Rocksteady, right? So you're going to have these well-established studios that you've loved for years shit the bed and arguably have a really good chance of shutting down because of all of the investors, because of BlackRock, because this pushed, you know, DEI bullshit. And that really sucks. But it, what, what needs to happen, this needs to happen. It needs to happen because otherwise change will not happen. And it won't like revert, like we won't do a 180 because we do. We need to do a complete 180 with the video games. And unfortunately, some really good studios are going to shut down in the process. They removed Rivet's Tatars from the concept from RNC and removed Cortana's from Infinite. No, Angela Cross, they don't want to bring her back. God, I hope Chrome Studios doesn't adopt this nonsense. Glad they haven't. I know, Attendo. We just got to hope. We got to hope that after the end, like when, when this all is said and done and the dust settles, we'll see what studios are making the Vigi games, right? We'll see. And again, I don't care that Validate exists. Go make your game. You obviously, you know, $47,000 were raised to make this game. I don't know if you had a big investor. I don't care, right? Form your own studios, right? Make your own games. They will stand on their own. Make new IPs. Make your titles. We don't care that those exist. But you don't get to hijack IPs that have been around for decades fucking decades and fundamentally change what they are it's not going to resonate with the, the with the player base it's just going to piss people off and then guess what the sales are going to suck and guess what the studios are going to go under and that's not what any of us want well the sexualization of bed is kind of cringe i hope this helps oh shut it already Someone is behind on the news with P. Diddy. Someone hasn't been paying attention to all the corruption in Hollywood. And you're clearly ignoring everything that happened at Nickelodeon. This is disgusting, but again, 
This is why they want to tone down female body types in video games and media. They actually believe they're the only ones who are victims of it, and yet at the same time want to cheer on OnlyFans models and other forms of sex work. Again, the woke mindset makes no sense. It's like everybody sense. forgot just a few years back, gamers were drooling over Lady Domitresque. When fan service does happen for men, it's always a problem. Well, it is now. It's amazing because Stellar Blade is the game that's hurt nobody. It followed all the same rules that the feminists demand in order for a sexy woman to exist, and yet they all still take a problem with it. You know what it is? They just don't like us men being able to gaze and enjoy something. They hate that we are enjoying something. Beta men follow along with it because beta men do whatever females tell them to. And if there's anything I've ever learned about women, it's that they don't like men having a good time or enjoying life or enjoying anything. They are there to rob you. Okay, toxic women, correction. Toxic women don't want other women and don't want other men, it's across the board, to have any kind of fun. That, that's really what it is. Toxic individuals, what that, the core of their core, whether you be male, female, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. If you are just a toxic human, you want to take all of the joy. You want everybody to be just as miserable as you are so you can have some sort of escapism so you can be like, I identify with someone I'm not so alone. Well, guess what? That is terrible. Like, you need to fix your own... Me like, again, I cannot stress this enough. People need to be responsible for their own mental health and they need to take care of themselves because it's nobody else's problem. It really isn't. Women as a whole, not so much. No, not women as a whole, not such so much. But toxic individuals, both male and female, doesn't matter. They're just toxic humans. We'll do this shit. ...view of your happiness because it must be approved by them. And Jaffe is sadly one of the beta soy cucks that's joined them. My fascination with whatever Stellar Blade is doing to these people's brains just doesn't end. I want to pick their brains apart. I want to understand what makes them re at this it's only a problem if it involves men's enjoyment can we ask why are, are we allowed to take a stand and say this is my nature sorry i find this attractive i like it please stop trying to make a bullshit on the spot and be giant as hypocrites because it serves no actual purpose to the discussion. Maybe if Jaffe was less focused on trying to secure a gotcha on Twitter, he would have been able to have a meaningful discussion about this piece of booty. But instead no, he, he was can't. just farming for engagement because that's all he can do now that nobody uses him to make video games. But whatever, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know how it is. Do it because I told you so. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Free Congo sucks Dude, ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Ugh. All right. We made it. We made it through. I think, honestly, chat, the next wave of salt that's going to come out for Stellar Yams is after the game is released. We're just going to have uh, some individuals bitching and moaning and it's it you know we'll have the little bit of discourse but as soon as the game is released it's just going to go off the rails again because people are not going to be able to deal with all of the content that's going to be posted all over social media in regards to eve and the other characters oh lord we made it what the fuck okay we do not have memes we do not we're not going to have a meme in the stream today we do not have any Stellar Yams, so that's all right. If Stellar Blade makes it to Game of the Year, people are going to look, dude. Dude. There are, so here's the thing. Here, here's my thoughts. If, Chris Wolf, if Pocket Pair takes um, Indie, right? Best Indie game. And Stellar Blade takes Game of the Year. Like, it's going to, this Vigi game awards this year is going to be very interesting right i don't know what's going to happen but we got hell divers 2 we got fucking pal world we have lethal company we have a lot of good games that have been released so i'm 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 with bated breath right now but if this if stellar yams takes game of the year holy shit holy shit that's going to be a lot of salt that's going to be a lot of salt
But I think optically, I honestly don't think it's going to do it. I don't think it's going to take it. They're not going to want Stellar. It's going to be like Hogwarts Legacy situation. And Jeff Keighley is going to be like, well, we can't have Stellar Blade take Game of the Year because guess what? They'd all be proven wrong. Right? If Stellar Blade won, that would completely smash the narrative. Like, they completely snubbed Hogwarts last year. So I can see Stellar Blade getting snubbed. I don't think Stellar Blade's going to get nominated. Yeah, it's going to be interesting what we, what we see at the Game of the Year Awards this year. Um, it doesn't matter. It's just a fucking stream that we can all get together and actually celebrate the games that we liked throughout the year. But I I'm interested in how triggered people are going to get. <laughs> I miss games when, when that were not politicized. Yeah, I know. Let those asshats suck on that salt shaker for the rest of their existence. Colby, Colby you are a chad. Colby, I am so happy to have you here. We are happy to have you. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of recording tonight. Uh, I gotta go eat some dinner, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do some Helldivers, uh, recording tonight. That should be up on the channel. Um, do you guys, should we do this as a public VOD or a member's VOD? What do y'all think? Put a one, put a one in the chat if it should be public VOD, or two in the chat if it should be a member's VOD. I'll let you guys decide. I kinda went a little, I did, I, I was, I was popping off in this stream, because it's fucking ridiculous. Public, fuck them. <laughs> I like that. Thanks, Spec. All right, there we go. Spectre 7999. Public, fuck them all. Trigger them all, Binksy. Put the stellar yams on the U boobs. Make them all cope, seethe, and mauled. That, that, that's where Spec's at. Fuck them. They're the same people that would take Carlac away from you in a second, Spec. You know it. Bucket full of fuck it. Yeah. Care cups empty. Zero fucks given. All right, guys, so I am going to remember tomorrow. Okay, so let's, let's, go to, let's go to the super. Those of you that were not on stream earlier today, we did hit the raffle goal, right? We, did, did, we hit the giveaway. So we are going to be doing that raffle on the 29th of April. Don't worry. I know it's X amount of weeks out, so I will, you guys will be informed. You will know when it's happening. I will keep you up to date. I will be giving, the game that I want to give away is coming out um, around the 23rd. So I have to wait for the launch and all of the things. And so we'll do the raffle on the 29th. I'm giving five copies of the game away. With how people treat other interests online, it sounds like people just want others to be just as miserable as those people attacking those interests. Exactly. I'm honestly at my limit for how people can attack others' interests and think they can get away with it. Exactly. There needs to be actual on online repercussions. Stop forcing your ideas onto others and let people have their individualism and their enjoyments as long as they don't actually encourage harassment or violence. I actually I agree with that, Psalms. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. <laughs> I 100% agree with that. Just don't be a dick. But it doesn't matter because everybody wants to push their mental illness on everybody else. Um, so we've got the 29th for the raffle. That is a Monday. Uh, and we have on you boobs tomorrow uh, because Ducky, Ducky scammed it out of me. Ooh, woo. Uh, we're going to be doing Among Us for our member stream tomorrow on U-Boobs. And that's at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to play some Among Us with me, uh, we will be doing that. I also will be playing some Party Animals on Twitch at some point this month. So we will have just, we'll just have just generalized gameplay for everybody that can jump in. And I'll rotate people out and it'll just be a fun time. We're just going to have some chaos here on Twitch and anybody can jump in and join. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, oh, and on Monday, so Saturday we have the Among Us stuff. Sunday, I will not be streaming because it's the Lord's Day. Um, honestly, I've got things going on Sunday, and if I can, I like to try to catch the Iron Lords podcast when I can. Um, and on Monday night, wait for it, guys, wait for it. We will be back on Twitch with Dead Space 3. 
and Shu and I, and that's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So on the 8th of April, we will hopefully be finishing up Dead Space 3. I'm going to scream into the void. I'm going to kick. I'm just, I'm having a fit. But yes, we will have, we will be returning to Dead Space and we will be finishing that up. So hopefully we can get that done that night. Shu thinks it's going to take at least one more stream to get it done. So. All right, my lovelies, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go have dinner. I'm going to get set up. And then I'm going to do some Helldivers recording, and I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful rest of your evening. For the glory of Milfgaard. Oh my god, some mic somewhere. Sissy, call me when you're done. I need to ask you a quick question. Okay. Oh, and we're going to get we're going to get Brian loaded up. And when I get off stream tonight, we're going to get Brian loaded up on the Twatch channel, and so we will have him the next stream. So you will be able to spam the little cute Brian that Pixel so lovingly gifted to us. Thank you so much, Pixel. We love you. Um, anything else? I think we're good. I think I'm done. All right. I love all your faces. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. I will see you on YouBoobs tomorrow for some Among Us. And yeah, Stellar Yams. Enjoy the demo. Those of you that are playing it, when it's released, we're going to have a hell of a lot more salt. It's going to get interesting. And I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful evening, afternoon, and morning, depending on what part of the world you are in. And I will see you later. Bye! Okay, look at this. <laughs> yes! Oh, man! Artwork! He stands up and it's like, oh, he's thick. With his, with his Ninja Turtle pajamas on. Oh, S fan, do the do the pec fan. Oh, S fan, do the flick. Very good, very good. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We're gonna bounce off. Very good, very good. We're gonna try and find a party. It's gonna be good. Very good, very good. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We're gonna bounce off. Very good, very good. We're gonna try and find a party. Oh, frick. Very good, very good. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We're gonna bounce off. Psych! I'm an asshole. Okay. Uh everybody stay here. I didn't do shout outs. I didn't I didn't I fucked it up, chat. Streamer fail. I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> Holy shit, that's the first time I've ever done that. Okay, okay. I know, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Shh. That's okay. S some MILF guardians left. It's fine. We'll just let it happen. Shh. It's going to be on the recording. Top cheers for today. Thank you guys so much. Gara of the Rage with 1100 biddies. Thank you so much, Gara. Blaster with the thousand biddies. Holy shit, I cannot believe I tried to end stream. That's so terrible. Thousand biddies from Blaster. Thank you so much. Nox with the 600 biddies. I know, I'm super in trouble now. Nox with the 600 biddies. True Assassin, thank you so much for the 500 biddies. Psalms with the 400 biddies. Black Cobra with the 300 biddies. Censored with the 300 biddies, thank you so much. Uh, Battle with the 100 biddies. Xavier with the 100 biddies. And Spectre 7999 for the 100 biddies. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate you. Rue and Leon coming in hot with 22 tea bags to the Milf Guardians faces. Thank you so much for teabagging with love, Leon. We appreciate you. Those of you that upgrade up, you know, upped your teabags on the channel. I also appreciate you as well. And Censored also did a gifted teabag to the chat. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Sorry, uh, I done had a streamer fail. I fucked up. Okay. I love all your faces. Thank you guys so much for doing that. We made we got it to the raffle. We're doing the giveaway. Yay! Bye! You've been trolled, you've been trolled, yes, you've probably been told. Don't reply to this guy, he's just trying to get a rise out of you. Yes, it's true, you respond and that's his cue to start trouble on the double while he strokes his manly stubble. You've been trolled, you've been trolled, you should probably just fold when the only winning fool is not to play. 
and yet you keep on trying, mindlessly replying. You've been trolled, you've been trolled. Have a nice day. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm-mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm no thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right Ooh. then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out.